Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the f old games that we're going to be playing tonight. Uh, from a source for the old a games. <laughs> not, not the source, because many people have these games. We're going to be playing, continuing our quest to play every single uh, classic Atari 2600 game. Specifically a quest for James to play all of them. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, yeah, I've sat through all of them. Double audio? Double audio. How? Nobody knows. Just stop it. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Really? Still? Really? 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 Can you go on your phone and Can watch? Can I go on my phone and watch? Immediately? 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, not here. Ground Trooper, why do you have double audio but Thrust doesn't? We're going to verify. Definitively. We're going to trust. Ah! Trust the Darcy. Trust but, but verify. Trust but verify. Just, we have to trust two people. That, trust but verify. Check, check. We have to trust two people. That, trust check, check. Oh, we have to, well, that, I, I heard it twice, but it was only because this was... <laughs> oh, this was oh this. I see. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, we're all here. Uh, uh, we're all good. Everybody's good. Ground Trooper restart. Two tabs. You're making us delay. Okay, we're going to be playing, uh, continuing on with 1983. I've got the list here. Uh, we're playing all the games in order, if you don't know what we're doing. We're going to be playing for August 1983 to October 1983. Every single Atari 2600 game released to the public. There's actually some really good ones today. So far, you know, they've said 83, oh, it's the crash. There's a lot of terrible, terrible games came out in 83. The market got oversaturated. There was a lot of games that came out, yes. Mm -hmm. But bad games? Not really, so far, in uh, my experience of playing through these games. There have been some bad ones, but if you stuck with, um, like, Atari and Activision and Magic, like, all the names, brands that, that people trust in the past that released really good games so far you really can't oh, the, go wrong yeah yeah but that was as discussed before that was the problem was not that the brands got worse but that <laughs> the new non-brands people. yeah non-brands came out and pooped in the pool now <laughs> that's right one poop of the pool is enough um yeah there were some bad ones but uh, were they priced lower than the Activision and Atari ones and everybody bought those and then thought, oh, games are terrible now. So I'm, I'm not yeah, quite no. certain what's going on there, but maybe we'll find out. We'll find out and there'll be a lot of terrible games it, uh, this it, it show It wouldn't be the one. first time that the analysis of why something happened was false, but... Skeet Shot is terrible, yes. Um, yeah, exactly. And, and it's been revised, everybody for some time said, oh, it was uh, Did any other systems? it was E.T. It's like, no, no. But Coleco had come out, and Intellivision had come out, right? Yeah, they were... And were they better? They were... They, they were they have... different. Like, uh, Coleco had better graphics. Yeah, um, that's, that's what I remember is... Intel they both had the ability to do better graphics. Yeah. And better sound. Yeah. But they didn't have as many games yeah. as the 2600 had, um, and, you know... Yeah, it was different, um, but they were capable of better games, but they were still way behind because they came out much later, so they didn't have as big of a market share. Um, so many people had 2600, and it's like, why would I buy a new system when games are still coming out for the mm -hmm. system I had? Coleco was definitely better, but that did not save them. No, it's it's about having good games, really, and and an install base, too. And also, like, a cool factor. Like, yeah. if, if, like, they could be dragged down just, like, say... I'm it's purely hypothetical, but say Atari mm. suddenly people got the impression that Atari sucked now. What, whatever yeah. the truth. Yeah. Uh, that can like kill. Oh, yeah. All of them. The because cool factor, yeah. The cool factor, but they're like, oh, video games are stupid. And now yeah. video games are stupid or whatever, right? Like, yeah. It the same thing that made could. them go up. Video games are cool, right? Yeah. And people buy them. And Thrust said, I, I think it was the home computers. I got a C64 and all the games are free. 100%. Yeah. That's. That's what happened to me. I got a yeah. C64. I never had a console, but I had a 60 foot C64, and all my friends did. And it was like, well, I can get all the games for free. And I had a Trash 80, and all the games I had for it were free. Yeah, so free is pretty cheap. I mean, yeah. th the computers were very expensive in comparison to consoles. Sorry, I say free, but there was a time element cost <laughs> me a time element. 
I had to buy floppies too. No, I Damn had it. to like I had a to like, each. I had to wait for all the games that had been copied too off too much to oh. work until I got to one that did work. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure there's some some way you could revive those games. Like, um, oh, you know, it, this barely works. I'll get it onto the system and then re-export it digitally rather than you know introduce more hiss and more hiss. As but you like copy if down the, the line. but if the I don't know what the uh, I don't know what actually caused them to not work because you could hear them. Right. It, it was like a loud noise, you know, it was the modem noise. Yeah. Yeah, like and it would do it it would do it the whole way through. Yeah. It didn't do oh, the yeah. it didn't do the modem thing where it you heard it for a couple seconds and then it silenced itself. It was like, no, you hear the whole thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, it's kind of good because you knew it was still loading. Yeah. 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 Uh, I want to thank, uh, before we get into the show, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Scrolling beside Darcy. Al Nefer, Arkham H, Arbscar, Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR, Pocock, Buck, Owens, Kaffman, 2D, Carlos, Madruga, Charles, William, Coconut, 81, Curl, Lama, Cubanismo, Dianoid, Dan, AVC, Drex, All Dark, Moo Cows, Grow for Man, Great Defender, Osher, Rapper, I Steal Newspapers, Johnny Nitro, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Lauren, TDZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Make Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Vester Fix, Mighty Funster, Pack, Rap, VG, Quag, R, uh, Quag, 2600, RC, 70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless VG, Ricardo, Pimp, 6, Wee, Spitty, B, Spice, Where, S, Mirrors, the D, Train, Walsh, Man, Tiki, Dan, K, T, Foes, TM Events, 2600, X, Ken, X, and also thank you to Ground Trooper, who resubscribed just before the show. Thank you so much. Woo! You're awesome. If you want to support the show, hit subscribe. It's free with Amazon mm -hmm. Prime. Link them up, and it's not free if you don't have that. Um, time to get to the mail and news. Let me get out my uh, chopper, my weapon. Illegal on planes. Oh, don't worry, cats. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Now, I did already open this box because I had to test it. So I know what it is. And I kind of sealed it up again. So it's not real. It's just so it didn't pop open. And it says... It says, enjoy, Dale. Thank you, Dale. Let's see what this is. Well, I know what it is. Everybody else can see what it is. It is... a Star Path Supercharger. There you go. Do you remember... Were you here when we were talking about this? So what this is is a cartridge mm -hmm. that plugs into your Atari 2600. Mm -hmm. And on the other end, mm -hmm. it has a phono plug yeah. that you would plug into a tape player. Oh, so, yes, you were talking about this. That's so cool. So just yeah, like yeah. you had with your Trash 80, mm -hmm. this allows you to load games off of tape. Um, and this has 2K of RAM on it, and I believe 6K of ROM. I mean, it's all kind of RAM, because you can write to all of it. Yeah, yeah. But as it was designated for the uh, 2600 to read, it was 2K of RAM, which is an enormous amount of RAM compared to the 128 bytes yeah, yeah. it had. Like, yeah, yeah. 20 times as much. Yeah. And 6K of ROM, which is also, you know, not too shabby yeah. as well, considering you have 2K of RAM as well. So you have yeah. 8K total. Um, yes. This is a very good question. Do you have a tape player? Uh, Thank you. I that. actually do. I don't have any tapes of the games on tape, um, so that doesn't work. But I will show you. Darcy, you straight in t-shirt for better advertising. There we go. Drexel Games. That's his game store. So visit that when you're in Vancouver. Floor to ceiling games. Um, uh, and um, so this was generously donated by... <laughs> <laughs> this is ger generously donated by Big O from the Atari Age forums to the show. Nice. Because I was talking about it. And it's funny because I've been thinking about, like, I've been thinking about what could you do to, like, have multiple, like, for instance, to have, like, multiple games on one cartridge. Yes. Or multiple games that you could play between and know what happened from this game to this game to this game. And one of the oh, ways I yes. thought is to, like, have have like yes. basically a plug like this that goes into your cartridge and then plugs into your like yep. controller System. like uh like the 
the speech box. Yeah, the other the speech box is another way to do yeah. that. You need something that's persistent, mm -hmm. and you can do it with this because games were multi loads actually. Um, so it would retain the information from load to load to load mm. um, in the RAM, and it would just load the ROM or certain parts of RAM, I believe. Um, and also, what is in the package as well um, oh my god, I almost ripped that is a CD called Stella Gets a New Brain, which is a CD of audio that has all these games on it. Um, all the uh, all the and, Star Path games. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, so cool. you can play them off your CD player and connect this up to it. Um, and so the what, does this only it. work with games that are made to work with this? I think you would have to format them in a specific way to make it work with other games, but I believe you can. Somebody can answer that in the chat. That I don't know the direct answer to, but it's expecting a certain format, right? Um, so if they're formatted in that way, then I would guess, yes, you could load them. Let me just see if on this list there are any games that are not Starpath Supercharger. Nope, they are all Star Passage Charger. Um, so this is Stella Gets a New Brain version 2, I think. It doesn't say version 2, but... So, it was very convenient to have them all on CD rather than have all the um, different games on tape. So, let's demonstrate, shall we, of how this works, because it is super cool. Uh, so let's get the 2600 up. Pop out. And the CD has some of the first homebrews, uh, Charles Leland says. Yes. That's oh, cool. it does. Yeah. Um, uh, once I sit down. So this, this is like the new version mm -hmm. of this is the original. Yeah, this yeah. It's very cool. Put out in 82, I think. Oh, that's 83. pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah. So you plug it in to your system like normal, like normal. Was there ever a keyboard? No. Uh, for the Atari? Yeah. E Yes and no. Yeah, 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 yeah. It didn't really come out. It wouldn't make it wouldn't make a ton of sense. No, it it would. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh, text adventure games. Um, yeah, I just mean that like tur you like turning your twenty six hundred into a, a computer would be it would require a lot more than just a keyboard. It would require the RAM. So something yeah. like this, you yeah, would yeah. definitely need. And they they hey, were planning on doing that. So, um, this has a, has a phono plug at the end of it, but it's actually larger than the average phono plug, and it's, it's very weird. It was made so you don't directly plug it into your stereo system because there's issues with that. It was meant to go into a tape player. I don't know. I don't know all the details, but that is... <laughs> so I have to put in some adapters so that it turned it into work. USB. Uh, yeah, it turned into USB specifically. Yeah, I guess it doesn't care. Like, it's going to sit there and wait. It has to wait no matter what system you use. In fact, it has to wait yeah. longer for, for a tape. <laughs> audio is audio. Yeah. Yeah. It just has to sit there and wait until it starts hearing. So I yeah. have all of these, uh, all the games on my phone so that I can load them up. Took a little bit of uh, finagling to uh, get this the right patch cables working. Um, so let's take a look at this right now. Um, second. Yep. So uh, are these? Um, are you? Is the sound going to come out of your phone? Because if so, people could uh, use this video to steal these games. They could. They might. Maybe I should turn on all the systems and give them more power. That will help. There we go. So can anybody confirm whether this came out first or um, the Famicom disk system, disk system? And I think this came out first because this 
looks suspiciously like the Famicom disc system disc system we, uh, page. Huh. It has stars falling, and it says insert disc. So, what kind of discs did they have? Uh, proprietary floppy disks. Huh. Yeah. So here we go. Play. Good job, Mister. And the audio. You can hear the audio if you're really quiet, but you can't really hear it. Loads it. Stop tape. Commie Mutants, which we have already <laughs> played, which is an excellent game in my opinion. Um, so there you go. Maybe and that's how we press start. Yep. Okay. And go up to play. There. It is a menu. Um, ah. So you smash into the aliens to kill them? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's one way of doing it, but you'll only kill four for doing that. Uh, yes, it's After Dark. Uh, some games that do bank switching work a little uh, adjusted. Oh my, what is that douche at the top? He's very bad. I do not like him. Yeah, you got to shoot him too. He's undoing uh, all my good work. <laughs> and he's und yeah, he's, he's filling it back up. So you have to shoot him and then shoot the rest of them. Um, so... It's harder to do that when you're in the way. To load a new game, turn it off, turn it back on, and press play and tape. Or your phone. Oh, I see. So you don't have to click the press play and tape. It just listens. It constantly listens. So why does it say rewind tape and press play on tape? Because kids it, are stupid and so that they, they don't rewind. So it's instructions. It's not a button. Be okay. kind, rewind. Yeah, it's, it's not a button. No. <laughs> oh, you stick. Yeah, this is like a menu system. Uh, oh no, a snake. More. There are a lot of hacks for the um, supercharger, all 4K or less. Oh, SpectraVision sold a keyboard. Yes. Uh, you hit the snake for four that units. Used bus. The snake bus missed. technology. Going down, snake. You're going down unless you knock me down anyway, first. We have played all these games. Uh, and, and sadly, there's no Star Pass Supercharger game today. Uh, there is on the next show, but so we're not going to actually use this today. But it was we just did. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> sort of used it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Big O, for that. It is such a cool piece of technology. Um, and uh, yeah, some some people that was like the first way to get homebrew onto your system is to do that pretty awesome yeah and i th and i think that was the first um what homebrew was made the first couple were so made. this is what destroyed the atari <laughs> that's right everybody pirating the tapes yeah yeah um so it would have but uh, it would have but it, it didn't get a chance to do its work the cd has <laughs> oystron on it does it it doesn't list Oystron, but uh, I think version 2 has Oystron on it. This is just, uh, yes. It does not say it has Oystron. Yeah. I think, ver no, this says version 2. Hmm. Maybe it's hidden. Maybe it's on another piece of paper. Uh, so, oh, Space Taxi 7800 port is back in development from Carl G., can take a look at it here. Uh, August 6, Carl G says, so I've been thinking of reviving this project. Much of the gameplay is already done with my one sample level. What I need most is more levels. So wondering if anyone wants to collaborate on this project and help with art and level design. Original levels would be cool, but levels based on the original game would be good too, and be useful for helping me progress further in the game. Did you ever play Space Taxi on the Commodore 64? I... Even at my house, maybe? I, maybe. Maybe. I don't recognize it by You go name. around, you land on pads, and you pick up people and take them to another pad, and they go, hey, taxi! And it's boy, <laughs> and they go, pad three, please! <laughs> and then you take them all to all the different pads, and then you go to the next level. It is amazing! One of my favorite games on the C64. <laughs> um, and then Tix uh, comes in, a uh, master at uh, uh, artwork, and makes a whole bunch of graphics for the people. You know, they're hailing the taxis. Yeah, yeah, those are great. And getting squished if you land on them. Uh oh. <laughs> 
And then he did some more. There's the taxi, which looks awesome. It does. It looks amazing. And somebody walking to the taxi. Um, and then a whole bunch of the obstacles that are in different levels of the game. Uh, Thrust says, great little game. Yes, so good. The Comavid Magic Card Manual has plans for making your own audio output, input and output, though I suspect that didn't get a lot of use. Hmm, Magic Card? Comavid Magic Card? What's the Magic Card? Um, so, uh, and your tip goes down if you don't um, pick them up in time. That's the counter, that's your score as it goes down. I love, 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 love um, uh, Space Taxi, and it's renamed Cosmic Cabby. Mm. for the 7800 so uh looks like it's coming along the, the the game the engine is done now the graphics are done and now we just need levels for it so i suspect this will be uh on the show pretty soon hopefully very excited about that um zph the game uh i have shipped off the game to all the winners of of the game um, because the manuals came in, I showed them on the show the other day. Here is your manual, Darcy, for your game, which you have already taken, I believe, because I, I, I don't have, have it here yeah. anymore. I have it on my desk at home, waiting to be played. Excellent. There you are, <laughs> in pixel form in the manual. <laughs> Spelled your name right? Yep, good. <laughs> and this no, cartridge... No unnecessary ap apostrophe. Nope. <laughs> da Arcee. Da Arcee. Da Arcee. And this uh, is coming with me to Portland Retro Gaming Expo in October, where we will give it away. This is cart number nine. So this one with a manual and uh, a coaster and a keychain, just like we gave away to all the prize winners. Uh, you tried the magic card on your Let's Play Everything sessions. Did I? Okay. <laughs> Magic card? What are you talking about? It's a game? Is it one of these? No, it's not. I don't have a magic card. We would have virtually played it. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. So this is at, Z uh, at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. So watch for me. I don't know how I'm going to give it away, but I will talk about it on the show when that time comes. Um, so, so far in this marathon, we have played just over 300 Atari 2600 games <laughs> over the, uh, I don't know how many episodes, nine, um, so far. And then we have about 150 more games to go. Um, that will be played today and in three more sessions. So it'll be today, then Tuesday will be the last one, one before we go on vacation. And then we'll come back and play one on the 10th, uh, a session on the 10th. And then one on the 11th, which is the actual anniversary of the 2600, September 11th, uh, 45th anniversary. Um, so we'll be playing 32 games today. Uh, it's a Rarity 12 game. Not a game. Same company as did Conway's Life. Not a game. It's a thing. Oh, okay. Um, so, yes, 32 games today. Here's the list. They're stacked up there. I have a fair number of them. Not a ton. I'd say about half of them. That's not too bad. 9-11 again. Yep. Uh, so let's get into it. First one's Activision's Decathlon. Ooh. So let me set Did up. To wear down your joystick. Yeah. See what the Bratwurst has. Uh, Be very gentle, please, it. with the joystick. We're going to try and find a game that's not too hard on the joystick. Faster! Faster! faster. <laughs> <laughs> One where you don't have to press it too much. I do have the cartridge, so let's put that in. And there it is. Very nice graphics on this game. Look at that. Yeah. And sound. Really good. Like, look at those lights in the background. The sunset and the guy running. So good. And one of his legs is tanned more than the other, which is kind of weird, but maybe they did that to separate it out. Okay, let's start it off. Let's find a uh, something. Oh. Oh, no, that's. Uh... Oh, there we go. Don't press anything. Actually, hurdles. No. Let's do javelin. Yeah, let's do javelin. Okay. I'm sure it's like back and forth and then press, no, back and forth and then press the button when it's time. Oh, that's way ahead of time. 
You got zero. <laughs> There's the line when you throw it. No. That's a big no. So this was released August 1983 by Activision, made by David Crane. Uh, it's called the Activision Decathlon, but it's also known as Decathlon. 51. Uh, AG 93004. Uh, so it's going to be noisy. Oh, I think you did better that time. Didn't know Pitfall Harry was a professional athlete. Were those recycled graphics? Let's see it again. Let's see that dude. Oh, move the joystick. Nothing. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he's, he's taller than Pitfall Harry, I think. So how many different uh, decals? Scratch. Scratch. All that work for nothing. All, All that, that damage to the joystick for nothing. Exactly. All that vine swinging and alligator jumping is a good workout. So what was your bit? Longest one? 80 something? Okay. No. My turn. No? 69 something. Okay. Come on. I guess it's just delays. 883 was my best score. So but, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is expected. Uh, so there's 100 meter dash, long jump, shot put, high jump, 400 meter race, 100. Uh, no, I didn't press it. No. I don't know what to tell you, but that's not as good as my best score yet. <laughs> I didn't get right up to the line. 76! This game separates the good from the bad joysticks. <laughs> oh! Scratch! Come on. 9.52? Okay. Come on! Eighty, very nice. Two minutes left. Ugh, not as good, but close to the line. Eh, eighty. Nine eighty-nine. So let's do a different one. No, no, not all of them. Uh, long jump is very similar. Shot put. Sure. Yeah, let's do that one. Let's do shot play. Which is the same except different graphics. <laughs> Still the same joystick. Movements. Oh, it's not much. No, I, hit, I think I hit the wrong button. Is it your shadow or is your knee? Looks like your knee. 15.5. You get to go again. You get to play two players. Yeah, it's unfortunate it doesn't advance when you tell it. it. You just have to wait for it. It's pretty much, oh, it's your foot. I think it's your front foot. Yeah. That was close, yeah. 16.2, what was your last one? Less than that, I Lots think. Pole vault. Oh, 15.87. Now it's my turn. We should do pole vault next. Ooh, we only have 30 seconds. We'll do pole vault. Yeah, I won the shot put. We did, 100%. <laughs> this probably involves like multiple joystick movements, so. Or button presses. Or is it automatic? I don't know. Three? Oh, it, it goes up in increments. Do you get to set it, though? No. You just keep going till you can't do it. And you get a couple scratches, I'm guessing. Ah! Exhausted! Ah! Missed. I, guess I can't do that with my left. I'm gonna do one more. Oh! I let go All right, late. that's it. <laughs> okay, here. Uh, next one is uh, Mogul Mania. Maniac. Which 
I do have on cartridge. This one is one of my rarest games, and it's not even that rare. Uh, made by Amiga. If you can imagine that. <laughs> Same music. <laughs> ah, the Olympics are going to sue us. Okay. Um, so this... How do I uh, start? This. Uh, button? No? No. Maybe I have to do it. There you go. Oh, that looks weird. Oh, but you're moving. Go through the gates. Press forward to go faster, maybe. Why is it backwards? <laughs> I don't know. Um, you can turn the joystick upside down. Uh, this is uh, released August 1983 by Amiga. It's uh, cartridge 3120. This actually was meant to be played on a joy board, which you stand on. I do not have a joy board because they're 100 to 200 dollars for one game, <laughs> for just this game that uses it. It emulates a joystick. So, what? You're not playing with a joy board? Yeah, not playing with a joy board. Oh, yeah, it's probably to the left of it. Yeah, that worked. That did work. That did work. Weird. I think this had a custom controller. Yeah, it had a a, a fairly large thing you stood on, uh, which I don't. You can you use the foot pedal? Oh yeah, you could use the foot pedal, because it's reprogrammable. Uh, am I going to set that up right now? No, I'm not, because we only have three minutes. And you would use all that time up. But the foot pedal is really cool because you can assign it to anything. Any of the pedals to anything. Um, so you can assign left and right pedal. Uh, Ground Trooper said, I had uh, I have a completed box and would not any let anyone stand on my joy board. The plastic is so brittle at this point. Oh, yeah, that's true. ITC says, even if I had a working joy board, I don't think I'm within the weight limits of the thing anymore. I mean, this game's for kids. Mostly. Yeah, I would not stand on a, uh, what, a 40-year-old 40, 40 year old piece of plastic. <laughs> Maybe they made it pretty, uh, pretty solid, but I wouldn't do it. You think this is top speed? Seems a little slow. Is, can you speed up by going forward, or no? I'm pressing forward the whole time. Maybe it's back. Or maybe it's the button? What does the button do? This game is from Amigo, which later developed the Amiga! <laughs> yeah, this seems like really early for the Amiga, like the 2600, uh, the uh, C64 just came out when this game is out. It's weird, it's kind of weird to think that the Amiga was a thing before, uh, or Amiga, the corporation, was a thing before the Amiga computer. Yeah. Oh, it's weird going backwards. Oh, you can slow down. So, pre but you only go this fast? Mm -hmm. That seems so slow. Did you even? You didn't even miss one of them, though. Though, did you? It's well, so I don't slow. know. It didn't always be. I yeah. think it's like if you're too close to the thing, you don't get points, but you're not disqualified. I mean, we are only playing mostly the default versions of the games, so this might be like easy level for level one. Because a lot of these games had like, you know, four to 128 variations. Um, but we don't have, we're not doing a deep dive into these games, we're just uh, playing five minutes each. See, that didn't work. Yeah, because you were too close, I think. Mmm, that one did. I'm going to go really far from this one. You must have to go around... Maybe it's... it's You get a point for going past two. That could back be it. Back and forth, back and forth, back and right, forth. Right, because yeah. these are two, and when they're singles, they're... I'm going to try and go on to the right-hand side of this one, because you went to the, to the left, which seems to make sense. Nope, it is two. Now, this shouldn't give me a beep. Oh, just passing it and not even... Not crashing into it's good enough? Sure. Sounds good to me. Well, that... It's weird 
Because in real, like, soul, you have to See, go there, around you did That made a bad noise. Uh, that was the first one you did where you lost it or something. Oh, okay. To be fair, I don't recall the joy board being accurate, so the slow speed might be to help to compensate for that. That could be. So if I do this side... It's then also the this side. weird thing where it feels like it slows down the closer you get to... Like, it feels yeah. like you're approaching the flag faster until you get close to it. It should actually speed up yeah. as you get closer. Okay, that's it. Next. <laughs> They're just good at keeping the time going. Uh, next one's Battle Zone. I believe the cartridge has terrible line count issues. Um, so I'm going to put the cartridge in, but it starts flipping out. I do have the bind. Yeah, that's terrible. Um, the actual game has line count issues. So load up the fixed version by Omega Matrix. What's it called? Battle Zone. These may not be in order because of the way it works. It's probably last because I added it last. Yeah, all the rest are in order. Oh. Shoot the things! Avoid being shot! That's how it works in these games. So, Battle Zone, uh, released by Atari in August 1983. Uh, CX2681 by Mike. Feinstein and Brad Rice. The graphics on the tank are amazing. They're huge, and I love the treads. And uh, the movement of the, the ground is really good, and the mountains are awesome. Ah, oh, oh, just got hit. Yeah, the graphics are quite good. Yeah. And even the enemies and the explosion of the enemies, yeah. very, very serviceable. That's what I meant by good. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this, uh, the scrolling of the mountains and the mountains are really, really good. Excellent use of playfield graphics to... Um, playfield graphics and something else. I'm guessing the other mountain is like a player character. Got him! But you did get him in the end. Got him before you could... Uh, uh... Uh, they have this for VR. Oh, really? Uh, Atari VR? Does this require two Ataris? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Two Ataris, one for each eye. Um, has anybody made a... Yeah, I think somebody's made a 3D game for the Atari. But using the red and blue glasses. I think in order to kill sure. those guys moving back and forth, you almost have to, like... Because they seem to change when you point your gun at them, they change. Okay, yeah. So you it's almost like you have to shoot and then point your gun and point your gun again. That could be, yeah. <laughs> to it's chase them back tactics. into the bullet. Like you have to get them on the side and then run away as soon as possible. It's The blue tanks are the only ones that seem to shoot back. And luckily your bullet is fairly... Oh my god. Accurate. Like once you've shot it, it stays on on target. It just... Somebody shot for me from behind. Yeah. Those guys move. Oh. See what I mean? When it highlights on them, they they seem to go the other way. Ah! Run! Whoa! 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 whoa. Oh, you're dead. Oh, oh just... you survived. Good job. Just made it out of there. Come on. I'm gonna die. Run, run, run. It's hard to get. Yeah, they, they wiggle around. I mean, it makes sense, because... They're little wiggly wigglers. The tanks have defenses, and the others... Thrust says he's always driving backwards. Oh. That uh, and, uh, might make sense, actually. Because then you're always going away from it, which gives you more flexibility. That's a smart tactic. Chalcedony Mao. Chalcedony Meow. Chalcedony Meow. Meow. <laughs> says, wait until the yellow tanks appear. Oh, haven't seen one yet. I was shooting them left, right, and center because um, they were there. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they're on the right and sometimes they're on the left. Other times on the center. The yellow ones? I haven't seen any yellow. I think they might be like uh, VTOL 
aircraft or something, because they, uh, one bullet at a time. They're like V-shaped. Oh, okay. Ah, no! How could yeah. I avoid that? Oh, I'm gonna die again. Really, you want to? Oh, there's oh, there. The okay. Yeah. See, it looks like a airplane. I died immediately. Yeah. Well, it didn't shoot you. I think you got shot by one of these blue tanks. 100% I did. They're yeah. very aggressive. Right. Very aggressive. There you go. Uh, excellent graphics. Good. It's pretty fun. Yep. Uh, next one is pole position. A racing game. I played pole position two on the. Twenty uh, on uh, my C sixty four a lot because I really like that one. I believe it was. Oh, pit stop too. Sorry, pit stop. Uh, I think you have to change gears. Yeah, right. down. You're in low still. Press down or something. There you go. What does the button do? Uh, accelerates. Nothing. I don't oh, it's oh, brakes. brakes. Uh, because it's. Low gear, high gear, braking. Pole position, August 1983 by Atari. Uh, CX2694 by John Alred. Douglas B. McRae, Betty Ryan uh, Tyco. It's also called Real Sports Driving as well. Shoot to the one side of the saucer, then turns so you're pointed to the other side, but the saucer will try to dodge where you're pointing. It will duck into your bullet. Oh. I thought he was dodging the bullets, but all the time he was actually dodging that, me. That's what I was pointing. saying. You have to trick him. Uh, you got to like walk him onto the target by pretending to aim at him. He can't see bullets. He can only see where you're aiming. Yes. Flawlessly tell where you're aiming. <laughs> Flawlessly, perfectly. <laughs> Did you make it? I don't think you made it to the checkpoint. Is anybody surprised? <laughs> tell us in the chat if you're surprised <laughs> that Darcy did or did not make it to the checkpoint. I did not uh, get a sense of how hard to steer. Steering was just like random. It's, it's, ah. it's, it's <laughs> Thras says no. Pretty subtle. <laughs> you had no expectation? He, Is that what he, said? he was not surprised. Ah, the no! question was, are you surprised? Answer, <laughs> no. Uh, it says really nice mountain scrolling. Uh, your car. Oh, looks that nice. was a that was a good yeah. sound effect. You're real close to that car, and you got the wow. Yeah, that is a good sound effect. So good sounds. Oh, it's always. Oh, I think yeah. it's still okay. It's, it's yeah. a good sound effect. I just I thought that it was you were close, and therefore it went wow. Similar mountains um, to Battle Zone. Yeah, yeah, I was I was thinking that when yep. you said it. Yeah. Got clouds as a bonus. Uh, the scrolling numbers. Or the flipping number. Oh, now they're changing lanes. They always gonna change lanes. No. <laughs> Only when you change lanes. So what you wanna do, I guess, is no, they're uh, they're in cahoots to stop you. They are. They're willing to sacrifice their cars and their life to stop you. Not willing. They are intending to stop <laughs> you by sacrificing their cars. Safety, uh, safety um, equipment has gotten so good that really it cost them <laughs> anything. That's true. Safety third. Yeah. There was a time when being a pixel was a dangerous thing, but <laughs> then pixel cars got pixel airbags. And, uh, That's right. Oh, made it. No! No, oh, you bastard. Change lanes. The gear... Uh, forward and back's not a bad way to do the gearing. Like, if you only have two gears. Yep. And the button for the brake is uh, very smart. Rather than, like, some convoluted thing, you have to press the button and, and shift or something. You have to... Actually, they could have toggled back and forth with the button uh, between low and high and then use the uh, back as brake. That would have worked. But uh, this control scheme works just as well. Four. Uh oh, running out of time. Yeah, you know the control. The control scheme is is fine. Um, I think most drivers on the road would totally wreck you if they didn't mean damaging their own cars. A hundred percent. They definitely would. Oh, I'll play one more. Uh, before the show, you were talking about something really interesting. 
about uh, artwork and AI. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure everybody by now has seen uh, AI pictures that are drawn when you type in a bunch of keywords. And, oh, yeah, snagged his front tire. Oh, I don't know why he needs to have all of his tires unsnagged. Ah! <laughs> Get them all! Why does his car need to be unmolested like that? <laughs> Darcy was talking about the impact to artists, possible impact to artists. We'll continue on that uh, in a second. After we pop in tooth protectors. Tooth protect. I remember this one. Nope, you don't. I don't. Nope, this is a different one. Okay. Uh, the other one is um, called. Why am I blanking on it? We played it the other day. Tooth protectors. From Johnson and Johnson. Yep. There was definitely a. Uh... Tanya and I were talking about that. Black attack. That's the Black one. Black attack. Yeah. I'll press what? Yeah. I'm pressing. Oh, you have to listen to the whole tune. This has some line count issues. Uh, tooth protectors. But it's made by Johnson and Johnson. So you have to uh, bounce back the things that they shoot down. Maybe now I can reset it. Ah. There we go. You have to bounce it back into him. Nice. Nice! Kicking ass. You have to protect your teeth. And if your teeth start blinking, that means they're gonna rot, and you can press the button to fix your teeth. Uh, this is made by Michael Doherty and Clyde Hager, and this was available only through mail-in to Johnson & Johnson, so I would guess this is a pretty rare game, because I'm sure not a, people, not a lot of people did a mail-in for a tooth-related video game. Uh, Ground Trooper has two label variations of tooth protectors. Wow. That is actually very impressive. Okay, you can hit it to the side. Which is nice. Oh, but it, it goes into your tooth. Oh, does but it, it? What's interesting is that it actually, like, if you get it at the right spot, it. Uh, oh, what happened? Oh, I must have uh, like protected my teeth good enough. Yeah, I think so. Kool Aid Man moonlighting. <laughs> he does look. Oh my God! It's crazy time now. Oh, that one went down. Yeah, if you get it on the side, it does send them down. But okay. maybe on the side you can... You have to press... Oh, you lost your teeth. I don't what need you all my do? teeth. I only need one tooth <laughs> to... Um... It actually does play better than most of the rare titles. This actually has some gameplay to it. Is it good? Eh, I don't know. What do you think? Is it fun? It's okay, it's got something. Um, I mean, as you can see, I'm still like in the game, so it's probably too easy. <laughs> I think it's for kids, so... It looks like it's better than Chuck Wagon. Does this game not use paddles? No. What am I supposed to do here? Just not Oh, it's captured. game over. It's weird to let you stay playing when it's game over. My turn. Oh, I'm being killed. Oh, maybe oh. it's not game over. There's still like two at a time going. Got him. Got him. No. No, this is this is a new game. Is it? Okay. Yeah, because you're only getting a more or less one issue. You're getting it, 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 he might have two going at a time, but not before you can hit one of them. You yes. Deserve, you deserve two at a time if you're getting two at a time. <laughs> That's true. This is definitely one at a time. Got him, finally. Got him. Oh, so what is it when he zooms down to get you? Does that mean you've won? I don't I think so? Because I was hitting them all back. There's a timer at the top, looks like. I know when you don't hit him enough, you will be in trouble. You do lose there. Oh no, the timer's still going down. Damn it! That should have gone into my tooth. Oh no, it went down when I hit him. Oh no, ran out of time. But nope, now I'm getting points. Won. Okay. Do not blame games for being too easy if you don't try any variations. Yes, that is true. This is the default variation, which may be bad or good or hard or easy. It's random. Some 
basic yeah, yeah. variations. But with only five minutes, we don't have a lot of time for variations. Or even know what they are, because there's hundreds of games. Uh-oh. Oh, got it. Just in time. Oh, he's coming to get me. No! I don't... Oh, I did lose a guy there. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what caused them to come get you. Uh, it doesn't count down to come get me. It's time up. Oh. <laughs> Just in time. Next one is Fathom by Imagic. Yeah, if we were doing deep dives on all these games, we would definitely go in and play all the variations. Okay, Fathom, load it up. Fathom? Fathom. Now, I'm going to play this one because it is multi-step. It's by Magic. If you want to read out the stats for it. What stats? It was made in August 1st, 1983? Uh, August. Magic? August. Yeah. What did I say? August 1st, but all the things that are... Oh, August 1983. Because I, Cause I put first. And the number. I don't know if you guys care about that. <laughs> That's uh, the cartridge number. Wilfredo... Aguilar, Michael Becker, Rob Fulop. Ah. And that is all of the information that I have. Excellent. Okay, so... Oh, mermaid. What you want to do is collect all the stars. Oh, my God. And not get squidded. Not get... Uh, or jellyfished. Jellyfished. Uh, I guess it's game over. Yeah. And then... I mean, you... that's what happens when you die. You're dead. That's right. Oh, no. So when you get... Seahorse. Uh-oh. Oh. Ow. Star. The stars, watch the bottom, and it should give me a, a, pit, a part of his trident. So oh. let's go back up, and I turn into a bird somehow. Or not yet. No, not yet. Let's do more stuff. Interesting control scheme. Uh -oh. oh my god. He did. Uh oh. Oh, now I've got the bird. I think I'm good to go into bird land. Oh my god. Ow, ow, ow. Ah! No! I think they so just, I think those just slow you down though. So the goal is to rescue the mermaid who's trapped below. Ow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, 12, 7. Oh yeah, that's no. I see what it does. No. It, it uh, slows you down. And some of those slow you down. These ones like don't just slow they don't slow you down but they steal your time. Right. Is it Oh my god. Yeah, don't touch them. They have stingers and they're not afraid to use them. Oh, oh, you can't swim left or right without pressing the button either. Like, the button is like, I want to move. And then... Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Oh, you get you get more time with the seahorses. Okay. Yeah, and it, with this one, the those coral only slow you. They don't steal your time directly. Whereas the these guys, they actually reduce the time Jesus. you have. Yes. Rather than slowing your movement. They both... They both have a similar effect, but you know what I mean. So pressing the button makes you what? Go forward? Allows you to move. Ah. Yeah. Which is which is strange. So I don't have the seagull thing yet. I gotta show you how to Do you still have to collect the seahorses? Now I've got it. Okay. Now I can do the seagull. And then I um, press the button to fly again. Okay, I'm a Oh my god. Oh, you have to flap in this. No, can't go there. Oh, there we go. I have to uh -oh. collect clouds. You're being eaten by bats. And then they get another piece of the trident. See that at the bottom? Mm -hmm. And then I go back over here. Get some more clouds. Hopefully some more health. <gasps> no, 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 no. No, no! Oh uh oh. And get another piece of star. Oh, you got all sorts of trident going on now. Oh, can't get past that yet. But maybe the one on the other way? Maybe. It's actually... A, nope, I have to go back down, I guess. Maybe I've got the whole trident. Actually, maybe I do. It looks I see, full. it looks like a full trident to me. Now I've got the dolphin. Watch I've, out, they'll kill you. I need more health. Thank you. And I need that. For more health. So I can make it down. Ah, thank you. No! Those don't hurt you. 
they, yeah. They just delay you. They oh. take your speed. There. Yay! Love and Jeez. rescue. Yay, wow. I actually did it! <laughs> it's, it's really, visually really good. Yeah, yeah, it looks cool. And it's uh, not terrible. It's fairly challenging, but it's in a magic game, right? Is that what? Yes. And they make very good games. Um, both playability and visual, especially. So that's one piece of the trident. And I don't have the bird yet. So I have to keep looking for... So why do you go up? Oh, no. Can I bird. get the bird? There we go. Whoa! Ah. Why do you go up? Uh, when... Oh. Uh, no, when you have there. a piece of the trident. When I have a piece to, to get the other ones. To get the other pieces. Oh, to, to refresh the, the screen so you have more... Uh, yeah, that too. Oh, okay. So I can get more uh, health. Which I'm doing pretty good with health now. Oh, God damn it. Up. No! Stop it. This should give me another piece, as long as I don't go up the bloody screen. Now I just need one more piece. Ooh. That's a help, though, which is good. Ow. And then over here, go up. Can you go over 100? Or is it max out at 100? I don't know. Oh, can you go over 100? Over 100. Oh, where's my star? Oh, because I didn't get all the clouds on this level. Okay, got them there. Oh, what? Is there another level? Am I going to the wrong spot? Uh-oh. Death. You had time left. Oh. Have I only been playing for two minutes? No. Here, you play. They don't hurt you, they just make you live. Oh, it did beep? So we went past the five minutes? Oh. Okay. All right. Because I thought so. I was like, I've been playing this for a while. Yeah, I actually thought too, and I looked over and I saw the three minutes, and I thought, oh, it's weird how, like, time flies differently. <laughs> okay. Sometimes like a banana. Next one. <laughs> flies like a banana. Uh, they do like bananas. Uh, next one's Burger Time, which I'm surprised I didn't have this on cartridge. Um, but it is a terrible version of the game. I was just gonna say, uh, last time we played this, it was amazing. Why yep. is this version so bad? Because <laughs> this is the original, and the new one's a homebrew, which destroys this one. Uh, Burger Time by M Network, MT4518, by Patricia Lewis Dulong and Ron Surratt. This is like the all bun edition. <laughs> it is a lot of buns. No filling, all buns. Would you like four buns piled on top of each other for bun, your bun. lunch? Uh oh. They could have yes, fixed that Fix by just making some of the. Well, no, they really couldn't have fixed it. Because they could make the whole row a color. And I would say, oh, let's make the whole row uh, lettuce. But as you drop the buns down, the lettuce would just stay in the same row. And it wouldn't make much sense. I think I died. Oh, but at the bottom it has different colors. Oh, yeah, because they can do it down there because there's nothing else to show. And the burger's always in the same place, I'm guessing. So don't forget you, I do have pepper if you get in trouble. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thrust says, good, time, good sign if time is flying. I mean, that last one was a uh, very visually good game, and uh, it's got a lot going on, lots of different levels, and scenes, screens, so that does help. A lot with games, rather than just one single screen, or one thing you have to do over and over and over and over again. Yeah, sometimes yeah, no, you, it seemed like a cool game, yeah. Yeah, sometimes you can get away with no, you got him. You got him. No, three peppers wasted. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, I was just showing him who was boss. That's right. More pepper for you. Why does it sound so excited when I die? 
Yeah, inappropriate sounds. It Inappropriately be, happy sounds. It should be going do 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 down instead of do 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 do. What's happy for them? That's their theme music. Yeah, that's the sausages okay. theme music. Them. They're very bad people. They're not they human are. people. They're they're anthropomorphic sausages. Pepper. I don't have any pepper left, or it maybe I do. Two. Here you go. <laughs> You're done. No, it's, there's only so much time left. Oh, true. Okay, come down here, Eggie. Okay, you go down too. Oh, they're so slow. But the ladder detection's pretty good, actually. Like, you don't have to be perfect on the ladder, which is nice. Yeah, the little chef dude is pretty good, too. It's mostly the, Chef's what good. is that white cube? Um, <laughs> that spinning white cube. <laughs> it's an egg! And the other one's a pickle? The sausage looks like a sausage. Yes. If that's what it is. The music's good. Yeah, it's... it's I a, guess the sausage and the eggs and the pickle, they're... I don't know what the pickle, but I guess... We'll, I can understand why the egg and the sausage are mad. <laughs> They're like, you're not making a hot dog. <laughs> you're not making an egg salad sandwich. I don't oh, know. Oh, oh, I got caught on the ladder. I, uh, I take back my words about the ladders. You have to be fairly precise, at least on this level. Last one was a seemingly for more forgiving. No, you're not coming down. Oh, pepper for you. <laughs> pepper for you. And rather than use flicker on the game, they thought they would be clever and just use big chunky squares <laughs> for all the enemies. I think I would have rather gone with flicker. Um, I mean, like big chunky squares, how is that not flickering? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's already kind of flickery. Yeah, um, yeah you get... The two guys are you and the sausage. Those are the two. And what is the sprites. single yellow line? That would be the ball because it's sharing the same color as the play field. But you mean what is it in the game? Yeah. A, I don't celery. Know. A, well, there's, there's no celery. There's in egg. Time. There's pickle. There's sausage and there's cheese. Yeah, it must be cheese. So, I'm, or maybe not cheese. What are? What French is fry? a brown square? White square is egg with brown square and yellow stick. French fry. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. But is there a French toothpick. fry in the actual? The toothpick. Avoid the toothpick. Uh, next one is crash dive. The instructions call it a breadstick. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Stephen Az. Thank you very much. As, what, what, which one? Uh, crash Dive. Oh, there it is. September 1983. We're into September now. Shoot all the things! That's what this game is. Shoot all the things! Splash. I swear we played a game like this, but I didn't find... Where you dove and it splashed? I, I swear we played this game already. Uh, He-Man. Did we play He-Man? No. I don't think we played He-Man yet. There you go. Shoot that boat. Um, so this one has decent colors. Oh, sorry. This is 20th Century Fox 11031 by Bill Aspromonte. I, I like that your airplane is a submarine. Yeah. I only just realized that it was an airplane and not a submarine only. It can fly, and it can go underwater. It's pretty good. Oh, undestructible. Undestructible. It's undestructible. It's a thing shoot. Yes, Chelsea Johnny Mound. No instructions needed. Shoot all the things. It shoot looks everything. It's not Activision, but it looks Activision. Yeah. To me, to my untutored eye. Yep. Gameplay. It's not Activision. Usually Activision games have, like, something going on. This is shoot all the things. Usually there's some strategy with Activision. But, uh, unless we're missing it, like... But it's just, like, shoot everything. Very Activision influence. Yes, there was another game like this one. Is it the... Can anybody... Can you name it? Because... I swear it was exactly this game. We played it. Like, you go underwater, you you dive, it made that splash. There was a boat up above. Unless some, the, this 
Company it's like the going underwater oh, and there being a splash is very um, cool. Yes. Like that's like that's that's, that's the cool. Part that's beyond uh, like that's an upgrade from normal. Graphics at the time, it seems like. Hundred yeah. percent. Like Ooh, unnecessary uh, stuff. Mm, Pretty cool. I can collect it. Look, I have a sword now at the bottom. All right. Why a spacecraft submarine needs a sword? I don't know. Oh, I've got an ore now. Where did where did I get that ore? It just all of a sudden appeared. Or whatever that is. Charles Wheeland says that. Uh, oh, no, I can't go back. No bonus sword. Oh. Charles Charles Wheeland says Bermuda Triangle is kind of similar. Oh, Bermuda Triangle. Okay, I'll go look at that and see how similar it is. But according to the um, there is no hack of this according to the list. So it must be like completely different, but the exact same idea. It's interesting that the only, that you fight um, oh, monsters underwater. Yeah, and regular sea But creatures. the submarine only stays at the surface. Yeah, yeah, he never dives below. I mean, there's the boat, which makes sense that it's on the surface. Yeah, but... like when it dives below, that's bad news for the... <laughs> for the deck of the boat and the crew. <laughs> yeah. And all the equipment. They're, they're supposed to stay on the top of the water. Most of They're big chance of positive buoyancy. <laughs> this game sucks. Very samey samey. Nothing's changing unless. <laughs> Unless we're missing something, that, that walking creature on the bottom of the ocean is kind of... It's odd. Godzilla. Obviously, you can't kill it. I don't know if it's actually Godzilla, but... That would make sense. I mean, I'm just a small ship. Whoa. Godzilla's pretty powerful. It is funny that there's a giant lizard monster at the bottom of the ocean and you can't kill it. It's definitely Godzilla, because Godzilla can walk underwater and... It's weird that you can't shoot the mines. <laughs> yeah, you think... <laughs> You think that they're that more than anything mines would explode when you shot them. Running into them, you can. Oh, you get points for it. Look at this. I'm racking them up. Oh my god. Oh. Rolling the score. Oh, and you're pushing them back. Oh no, he keeps going. I'm trying to keep away from him, but he does. does oh, were you up. backing up? You, I was you can't back up in this game, but okay. you can just stay still. <laughs> you have enough going on. We don't need to take on Godzilla too. Yes, this I is true. Metal winner. Fair amount of points. Do I get it with the mines too? No. Nope. That's it. That's it for this get. pretty terrible game. It's got something. Not terrible. Although well, the game, the game part of the game is <laughs> is terrible. But graphics. like the the graphics and how you move around, just like I don't. The goal isn't particularly exciting. No. This one is Alpha Beam with Ernie. And we get to play using the kids controller. Hooray! Big blue kids controller. Oh, we, where back. are the kids that we're controlling? Ah, they're in the game. Or oh. the game controls the kids. There we go. Alpha Beam. Okay. Um. Two, uh, four, six, left and right, two, and eight, up and down. So match the letters. There you go, kicking ass. Alpha Beam with Ernie. I do have the card for this. September 1983, uh, put out by Atari. Um, CX 26103, uh, programmed by Michael Callahan, oh and God, graphics by Preston Stewart. I'm spelling this word. <laughs> How we do it? Nice, good job. Oh, oh, oh! It's taken off. Nice, great star field. Oh, the star's even extended. See that? No. Smart. They got a little bit wider. <gasps> Land. You took them. Oh, see. You made it back to Earth. Woo! Oh, it's Ernie. Identifiably Ernie, standing oh, on the surface. Your turn. Oh, I don't know if I can do this one. See if you can match the bees with the bees. Oh, I got it. There are upper and lower case versions of this. Uh-oh. Uh, ver Uh-oh. Click on the name. Oh, my God. Two of them. How do I... Can you do it easier on that one? Nope. What do I... I just click on the name? Click on the name. And then click... No, not right-click. That's, uh... 
That's browser clicking. And then the line through it. Line. Like the no, no entry. No entry sign. There we go. Let's try a different level. Ooh, okay. fishes. This is... It's time to go away now. <laughs> oh, it's not... Oh, it's two-player. Interesting. No, we're not going to play two-player. So this one's a bit more challenging. It's got options. C... B... They weren't even creative, they were just, like, persistent. Persistent, yep. You'd think that uh, Twitch would know that phrase by now and not even let them type it. They, they spam the same thing every time. But why, yeah, why do they spam it? Because they Surely watch. nobody in the history of ever has thought, Oh my god, that sounds great! <laughs> well, they, I don't even remember what they said, but it was something like... You want to be famous? Get more followers? Pick our thing that we aren't really describing in any credible way whatsoever. Pick oh, it! Pick it now! This one's a countdown. Um, yeah, and, and it's also fake followers. They're not real. The only reason somebody would buy them? Who would get that far in the analysis? <laughs> There's just nothing about the message that would trick anybody. So what is the, so no, no. Now, now, I'm, I'm, I'm not stating it doesn't work. I'm stating, how does it work? Why are they bothering? It must work. Therefore, it works. Oh, what do we have to do? Oh, it just counts down. Um, because you could buy all these, whatever, thousands of followers, and then people see your channel and go, oh my god, he has 5,000 followers, this must be a good channel, I'm gonna watch it, and then you get real followers. Or, you say to advertisers, oh, look at all the followers I have, I, can you sponsor okay, me? Okay, so what you're saying is that, like, some people will click on it because they believe that it three. will work? Yeah, there were three in a row. Um, it must well, it, I'm not saying it must work, but people think it works. That's the thing. Okay. It's like people buying, you know, spam lists yeah, or whatever. Yeah, okay, I get it. Some people... Yeah. Spam lists might work, because... It's just that it looks like, exactly like the thing that you, on principle, should never click on, no matter what it says. <laughs> it should be, yes. Especially three different people uh, doing <laughs> it. <laughs> the graphics are really good. Like, that's a big ship. And and it's pretty nice graphics. And it's got nice twinkly stars, too. Yeah. And it's um, time up. And it'll be for good for really, really small kids. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next one is Crawl. Oh, I remember this movie. I remember... I've never seen the movie. It's a good movie? I remember... Probably I was just confused, but I remember... There were two movies. There was Space Hunter and there was Crawl. Yeah. And one of those movies, I swear had footage from the other. Uh, that's quite possible. That did happen. And I was confused. It's, and then I eventually saw both of them. It and I literally was like, still happens to this day with movies. They recycle footage of, like, uh, for car chases. I think a good example was in uh, Transformers. They use the same footage as some other movie of, like, a freeway. Yeah, stab all the guys. That's your... Don't let, don't let her get attacked. And oh, they, but I've been killed. Uh, and they no, use, I haven't. I'm they used the freeway footage and they put the Transformers in it. And it was from some other movie. Uh-oh. Oh. It's okay. I didn't, there's always more fish in the sea. <laughs> now we have an excuse to move on to the next scene. Or is the game over? Jump over those things. Get to the door. Avoid the spider. Don't get trapped by its webs. move up to get to the door. Oh, I see. It's got a little timer at the top. I, I like this. This level is quite... Oh my god. The spider's mad. You ran out of time or something. <clears throat> he got real mad real quick. This, oh, this I see. Innovative. There's a white bit you can't jump over. Oh. That's where I was running into so much difficulty. I thought, there oh my go. god, am I ass. the worst? Like, <laughs> I mean, I am, but... Oh, go get the dot, I think. What dot? Oh, oh, dot went away. There was a white dot on the screen. Oh, no. No, here, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so far, it's very cool. My like, head got caught. It's like very adventure -y. Now, see the dot? Uh, oh, what? No, I don't see the dot. Do I have to like go get that dot? Is it like, oh my god, I'm trapped forever. I know, that's what happened to me. What the hell? That's why I abandoned. Oh yeah, just have to let it ride. See, there's a dot down there. Maybe that's showing me where I have to go and get it? Uh, oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. It's like right in that clump down here. It's right here. No? What in the hell? Spider's gonna come and get me. Oh, the sun's rising! Oh, the spider's yeah. upset! Krull is underrated. In the movie? Airplane scene with plane crashing into terminal is used So far, this game is is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, like it has... Um, Lots of... Like, I like the... I like how different the two levels are. They're completely different, yeah. Ah, uh, I ran into a sword. Too. And uh, some of them have knives, and some of them have javelins, and some of them are just victims to your blade. <laughs> fodder. Blade fodder. Oh my god. How did you make it to the spider level? Oh, did you get to the you top did, This is a points level. This is funny, because I, I often think about... Like making uh, a it's game of time. to follow. Yum, 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 yum. Oh. oh, it's treats time! Here we Cats go. Cats are going nuts. All right, my kittens, you have this one so we can see your hand. Oh, that was fast. Oh, he wants his treats. Oh no, you can only have one. Hm. Down, down. Here, get the dog. Uh, don't call them down. So it's oh, what I always do here. Hot. Try to make noise. Ding that bell. No, you gotta hit it. There you go. Okay. Now I you see the, the white dot. See the white dot? But when I went over there last time, it wasn't there. I'm gonna try again. The spider's gonna be mad. Oh, how do you get out of this? There we go. Let's go down. Oh, what? Somehow escaped it. Okay. No idea what's going on there. All right. I'm gonna go to the next phase. Okay, we go run back. Cool little horses. Okay, I'm They're gonna... too cute. Yep. Cut off. <laughs> Always end with a nice peaceful. Both get one. Uh, next one is Donkey Kong Jr. Get ready for some rough graphics. No. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, the cats are scrambling. Donkey Kong Jr. by Coleco. Some interesting music. What are the cat treats made of? Uh, I don't know. It's very stinky things. Uh, animals? I jump onto that? Yes. Okay. I go up here. Ah! Ah! No! No! It's too many. It's too many. Get off my vine. Oh, still cats. Cats, cats, cats. Oh, it made me die! Oh. Ah. What are, do you have another quarter? Yeah, uh, fortunately, yes. What is this game? Donkey Kong Jr. Ah. Where Mario is the bad guy? Yes, he's evil and he's captured Donkey Kong and is up to... Ugh. What? what Do I have to shimmy down again? Can you read out the information about this game? Donkey Kong Jr. September 1983 from Coleco 2653. <laughs> That's the cartridge Char number. H Harley H and Puthuff Jr. Puthuff? Puthuff? <laughs> Puthuff Puthuf Jr.? I don't know. Donkey Kong Jr. I've read all of the things. Oh, I can jump over. No, I can't jump over there. Maybe I can. Just didn't try it. Tiny beast! Maybe I can. Oh, you can. You can jump off of there. I don't think I can jump down there. That looks a little bit too far. 
I can do the same. Ooh, that's a little bit... Damn it. Of course you can't jump over that. <laughs> I have to go to the top? Yeah, but it's clear the way that you have to go on this. <laughs> Even Dum Dum Darcy knows that he... <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try it. But every time I try, he like sends one down and I have to go all the way to the bottom. Oh, yeah. <gasps> finally. I know, it's so tedious, you have to do the things. Oh, okay, go down there. Thank you. Oh, I like that you go quicker when there's two. Uh-oh, no! uh-oh, uh-oh, so close. I made it all the way. I bet the programmer did the art. Like, Mario's fine, and Donkey Kong is pretty much... It's possible that the programmer do. didn't have to do the art for Mario, though, because it's Mario, That's so true. the art's been done before. It has been. Um, but for Donkey Kong Jr. What are the little things that are running up and down the wires? Alligators, I think. Uh, just the mouths. Just the alligator mouths. Yeah. Now, how are they drawn? They look like they're drawn by the ball. Yay! Yay! <gasps> Good music. Yeah. Ah, Snappers. Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. That is crazy that the bird, like, gets on you immediately. It's totally. Totes uncool. Totes uncool. Ugh. 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 I hate it when I have to do the things Ugh. in the game to play the game. Oh, why is there one down there? Run. No. Ah. Oh, no. Ah, violation. Snappers have snapped me on my face. Ah. Ah. Oh, I have to do it all over again. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that happened. Yay. Slide down. Quickish. Yep. Can you disappear? Thank you. Oh, God. Yay. Oh, that was, uh, two. Oh, oh God. Why didn't Damn you jump? Because <laughs> I didn't... I thought he was just going to sit there. Uh, just the bird's pretty you. good. Yeah, the bird is very good. And uh, Donkey Kong is about as good as the Donkey Kong in Donkey Kong. And the font for the, the score is good. Oh, yeah. Standard. Uh, I'm going to run out of time, though. Not going to make it to the second level and complete the set. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, it seems like the gameplay is good. Like Snapper. Yeah, gameplay's fine, actually. Yeah. Uh, it just took me a little get getting used to, like... Oh, that's time. Getting used to how things... Can you me the sheet? Yep. So I know what's next. Uh, Mr. Do is next. <laughs> that says rating. Nice try. Nice try. <laughs> yeah, I did not do well. Or is he talking about the rating of the game? The game, yeah. Um, it's not bad. Well, that nice try it is not kill yourself. It's, <laughs> it's you failed, but perhaps the attempt was all right. I don't know. So, uh, you, uh, get all the cherries. And you have a ball that you can throw at those guys. Don't let the guys touch you. And like Mr. Do, you can drop the apples on the guys by walking into them. Nobody. 128 bites. What happened to Cafe Man in Bee Infested Attic? Oh no, what happened to you in your Bee Infested Attic? Oh, I should have shot at him. Oh, Run. shooting is an option? Yes, the ball. You can shoot the ball. Nice. There you go. Uh, so this is Mr. Do by Coleco. September 83, 2656. Made by Ed English. The cat was chewing on that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shoot him! Oh my god. Okay. He did it. This is pretty good looking, actually. It's got... Uh, Good characters. All the characters look good. The cherries look good. The apples look good. Uh, it's using uh, flicker management to great use. Oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! ITC says this might be another 2600 game I don't own in my collection. Might need to check on that. Uh, ah! You can't think... shoot that one? Uh, maybe not. Oh, I guess it takes time for the ball to come back? Yes, it has to bounce. Yeah. Uh. But even if you kill if you kill something, it takes time to get another shot. I guess. Yeah. Did you complete the first level? Yes. Yeah. 
Music's good, too. You get, I think you get more points if you, like, do the cherries in order. Because you get the It seems the like he, if, the, if you make music, they're worth more, yeah. And I didn't, because I made a pause. There we go. The cat's been treated? Uh, yes, they have been good. treated once. Oh, good. They are happy. The black cat's meowing at this, so I was just wondering. Oh, he meows. I think, actually, James, you got maximum, but I think it's just that they come in sixes. And so you finish the six, and then you start a new one. Like, you yes. can only get six in a row. Yeah, six maximum. Come on, dude. Stop it. You get the ball. Ah! See, I have to shoot at that shoot E. shoot that thing, yeah. And then I get, uh, I need yeah. it on the extra, and I'll get an extra life. Next. Yeah! I shot him, but I don't think he didn't have a ball. Da! Ah, it's coming at me. It's coming right at you. There's it's your ball. It's coming right back for now. me. Missed one. I think it's a very good version of Mr. Do. Very Dig Dug-like, and I liked... Oh my god. How did you survive that? I don't know how I survived that. Oh, that finger uh -oh. teeth. You better... Ah, uh, he's so ah. fast! My ball was loose. It was a uh, ball on the loose. Yep. That happens sometimes. Yeah. Oh my god, it's not like Dig Duck. No. As soon as you let loose that apple, it is going to move, whether you're there or not. R... Oh. What? what? Oh, what? Oh my god. Oh, I should have shot the ball. Oh. Uh-oh. Dead. I was looking away. I found this pr version pretty disappointing due to how digging is handled. I haven't played Mr. Do in the arcade very much, so... I don't know what the difference is. You have 47 seconds to play. For the digging, it, no, no. I mean, it seems fine. What's the difference in the digging? They could have handled it like they did for Dig Dug. I can't remember how Dig Dug is different. I mean, it's digging. You mean it's... I mean, it's it's by per pixel. Ooh, uh -oh. oh, no, the ball got loose. It went the wrong way. It went away. I didn't know that it was going to go. Oh, you shot it past him. Yeah, bad stuff happens sometimes. Oh, uh, it didn't come back as quick that time. Only worked to I think it takes longer and longer each time. You have to use it more and more sparingly. See, it just goes up to the six tones and then it switches back to. Makes sense. There was no gaps there, but it was. Uh, a very yeah. good game. Might even give it a check mark. Next one is Quick Step. And this is a very cool two-player game, if I remember. I, I checked it out, and it looked like an awesome two-player game. Quick step. No space between dig spaces. Okay. Let's see. Quick step? Quick step. I have to change uh, the default to two players. There we go. Okay. Uh, you're the kangaroo. I'm the squirrel. I'm trying to change them to purple. You're trying to change them to green. And you get points if they're green and they scroll off the screen. And you die if... You die if you go off the screen. And once in a while there are uh, white um, squares. And if you hop on those white squares and then touch me... You're a I get, I get, uh, yeah, I get, oh, there's white square. You got it. Ah, wake up, wake up, wake up. There we go. I get you. Nice. And then I pause you. Sorry, what happens? That white square uh -huh. turns me into super squirrel. And if I touch you, you, you get paused, which could kill you by going off the screen. But, ah, wake up. Oh, just in time. It's not good. Bad. It is bad. Very bad. Nobody likes. Nobody likes dying <laughs> because they fell off of the screen. Oh, you got it! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, also, you get um, six things you can remove squares with with your button. So if you wanted you to, you got so many more points than me. I did. Okay. 
So if you press the button, it'll delete a square. Ah, ah, ah. So I can delete that one. Oh, no, that's not. Bye bye. I removed a square because I was ahead of you. So I was able to do that. Awesome. <laughs> So it's kind of like a scrolling version of Qbert. Um, very much like it, except it's not 45 degrees. Oh, you got, oh, you're doing well on the scrolling off. Oh, I want that. Pause you there. Bye bye. Oh, just in time. Bye bye. So, how do you delete a thing? You press the button and hop off of it. You can always do that? You have six of them. I've used up one. How can you have only used up one when you did it to me twice? Uh, maybe I gained it back? at the exact same time. <laughs> Not super fair, no. And for it to work, I think we can't both be on the square when we press a button, because it would be like, oh, who who do, who got it? Competitive Cuber, yeah, it's it's a very interesting game. I think it could do with some more power-ups, maybe. But it does get uh, very cool when it becomes more maze-like. I mean, the one player, the computer takes over the squirrel, and you play the kangaroo. You definitely stay near the top when the other person gets the power up. Nope, I've hopped on it. If I hop on it before y you hop off of it, when you've pressed the button, it stays. <laughs> No, I've been left behind. <laughs> what does the yellow one do? Uh, nothing. It does Just the color. Maybe it's more points. The timer has gone. <laughs> yes, it has. It's a fun game. Good two-player game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next one is Kool-Aid Man, which I do not have the cartridge for. Time. Who is it? Kool-Aid Man? Is it not there? K. K Kool-Aid. There you go. Uh, by M Network, uh, September 83. Oh yeah! Uh, MT4648. So, they are drinking your water. Go kill them. Go get them. They're drinking it. Go kill them. The ones that are moving around, don't touch them. The ones that are drinking your water, get them. Because they're depleting your source of Kool-Aid water. I don't think there's any button. You just touch them. Get the W. Turns you into Super Kool-Aid Man instead of a Kool-Aid pitcher. W for water or... Throws you around the screen if you touch the ones that aren't drinking.
Get it. Get the W. Oh. I think you only got... Yes, there you go. You did it. Now you're going to turn all that precious water into Kool-Aid. Nope, maybe not. Nope. Uh, made by Stephen Tatsumi and Jane Ter Teryung. K for Kool-Aid! the water refill your water some more at the bottom? Because you're almost out. Uh-oh. I drink your Kool-Aid! I drink your Kool-Aid. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Is it over? Yeah. Reset for me, please. Oh yeah. Cool intro screen. Where it's like animated. And, oh my god, what the hell just happened to it? Oh, you can't hit the edges either. Yeah, you're not allowed to touch stuff. So the S makes you invincible, so you can't, you can touch the other guys. Oh no, I want that W! Damn it. Stop it. Stop it, stop it. So is this a promo game or just a regular game? Regular game, uh, I believe. You can just buy it. Come on, drink it, drink it. There we go. Stop drinking the Kool-Aid. Uh, also called Kool-Aid Pitcher Man. In some countries. But I mean, it is promotion. It was a big ad. Yeah, yeah. Just like any of the toy games or anything. No! Give me the S! No! Every time I, something cool comes on the screen, I'm bouncing around and I can't get it. Very disappointing. I, I don't know what the things are that you're getting. They look like... When they're like this, they look like drops of something. Evil, made-up characters they made for the game. <laughs> I'm not sure. Send in two, 25 Kool-Aid proof of purchases. That's right. No! Stop it. Oh, they're moving fast. See? I'm bouncing around when there's a W on the screen. Yeah, I don't know why you always do that. I happen to be bouncing. There. You die. There you go. Thanks. Stop it. Stop it. Don't bounce me in the right place. Sometimes it does that. See? K comes on the screen. I know. Bounce immediately. But obviously it's not always true, because you were just a super whatchamacallit. Yeah. That's true. A super whatchamacallit. Super Kool-Aid, man! Well, I just barely made that level. <laughs> Water level's low. Very colorful. Yay, I did it! <laughs> um, decent gameplay. It's kind of fun. Yes. And they all do the same thing. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die this time. Look how low the water is. I don't know. It's like the power-up thing is never worth grabbing. Because you... all it does is get you exactly what you'd get if you didn't recklessly die for it. <laughs> yes. Oh, I might make it. Only a couple left. Yes. Yeah. Um... Yeah, you have to go spend your time getting it, and you're only inv invincible for, like, seconds. Like, a very short amount of time. Next one is Popeye. A pretty decent port. Ready? If you play Popeye, collect the hearts that olive oil is sending down to you. Avoid uh, Blue Toast slash Brutus. Um, you can punch that... Uh, punch things that come at you because they're going to start throwing things from the side at you. Punch that. There you go. And you can punch the spinach, the flickering spinach, uh, if you uh, get in a jam. And then you can punch out... Oh, don't stand there too long above him or beneath him. Hey. So this was... Uh, Papa was put up by Par Parker Brothers. PB5370, uh, made by Joe Gosher. How do you go up? Oh, I see. Uh, up the stairs or down the ladder. You can go up and down the stairs, but only down the ladder. Yeah. 
Dan says, according to the wiki, Kool-Aid Man was initially sold by mail order, then sold in stores. Hmm. Mm. I... She goes over and grabs a heart. Yeah. Oof, close. close to. If anybody has not played it yet, we've featured it on the show a bunch of times, 7800 oh, uh -oh. 7800 Popeye. Really, really good. Is that one being sold at PRGE? I can't remember. Or maybe it's going to be after. Yay, couch compliant! <laughs> so you have to fill up the left house with the hearts, and then you go to the next level. Which is not the same layout as the arcade, but it's serviceable. Um, and Where does that bullet come from Oh, uh, when he's not up there? <laughs> they uh, didn't draw in the sea hag. There's uh. a person that uh, flashes in. Uh. Oh, that's nice. Maybe on both sides. Um, flashes in and throws bottles at you, and they're bottles. Right, right. Um, I don't know why they didn't. Like, Bluto's already flickering like crazy, even though he's on... There's no flicker management whatsoever in this game. It just flickers at 30 hertz. With the spinach? I guess? Yeah. Which is weird. Like, what is flickering here? Okay, well, we've got the hearts. I don't know what the hearts are using. They're flickering. Yeah, they're flickering. Um, the spinach is obviously like the missile for Brutus's. Oh my god. Brutus, Brutus's player. I don't know what the hearts are made from. Because they're very dark. They're also flickering. Uh oh. You just need one more heart. Uh no, another row. Or two. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty far. Well, let's uh, punch out Brutus, just so you can see that. I already did it. Did you? Yeah, I knocked him flying. Woo! Like that. Good job. I was all like, suck it, Brutus. So you need four more hearts. Uh, might be another row. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Very good game. Yeah, it could, be, it could be another row. Yeah. A lot of my C64. Because I like platformers. This is a single screen platform. Olive Oil has much love for uh, Popeye. So much love. Sending, doling it out in. Uh oh. I stopped to turn Shot on. Shot in the it. foot. Come on, three more. And there's no bottles thrown at the top here. So it's safe up here. But it's also hard to get the hearts. And you can get punched. Uh. Does he go up there? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Nonsense. Uh oh. oh. What did you do? It just switches over. <laughs> Yay, it's level two. And there's two trampolines here. And you can cross over. So what you do, and, he sh and she's throwing down notes. Thrust says, hearts and Brutus are player one. Hearts are... Uh, Hearts and Brutus are player one. The hearts are that not was the timer, though. green. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, because they're flicking at 30. Okay, okay, okay. That's right. Next one is Super Cobra, which I don't have the cart for, which I should get the cart for. Oh, that was crunchy. Scarily crunchy. That's hmm. right. Super Cobra. Because it's actually a pretty good conversion. Uh, Parker Brothers, September 83, PB5320. Like, it doesn't have smooth movement, but other than that, it's, it's uh... pretty good looking. I mean, full playfield scrolling, full screen playfield scrolling is pretty good. Obviously, uh, Champ Games' version of this game is vastly superior to this. But, there we go. Uh, 
PB5320 Paul Crowley and Bob Curtis made this one. Oh, I died. Uh, the not so good, not champ games version of Super Cobra. Yeah, if you like Super Cobra, definitely get the champs version of it because this this is very good for the time. Like we have not played a game like this at all. Full screen um, scrolling like this, full play field screen scrolling. It's been lots of games where it's like, oh, there's like seaweed moving along on the screen, or little things moving like player characters, or maybe waves, but not full screen stuff horizontally. Um, because there was, um, name I forget. I guess there was full screen scrolling in that. We're flying through the underground maze, and then you fly vertically through the underground maze. Give us Popeye imitation ZPH. No. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Oh, there's it. <laughs> well, you have to move forward to fire? No, no, no you don't. You don't. Okay. The firing is very odd. Oh, you have to wait till your other bullet disappears. Yeah, I don't like the firing. It's very, very weird. Yeah, in this game you want to get as far to the front as possible usually, so you can back up when there's issues. when you have to go through uh, yeah, yeah, certain yeah, caves. Or yeah. I believe Super Cobra was like one of the first games we played on the show. Uh, was in the first episode where you and I played it. Oops. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Made it to the next level! Mm, cute music. Doesn't fit, but cute music. None of them are... Well, we're playing an easy version, but I don't know. None of the wrong... There they go. Oh. Uh-oh. Boo. I like the helicopters. Very good graphics. Very yeah. tiny. Like, if I bought this for the 2600 um, back in 83, I'd be, like, more than happy. Yeah, really, really nice looking. And the scrolling is not jarring, like it's fine. Need more fuel. There we go. Oh, damn it, moved twice. Very dead. One more life. Perfect amount of time. the button there but it didn't do anything like, it doesn't fire right away sometimes oh because every second thing you press is a bomb or a shot that's yeah. why that is unfortunate so you almost have to like drop a bomb to get your next yeah. shot ready Oh my god. Oh, oh my fuel. god. Oh no. There's no fuel. I'm almost at the end though. Oh, okay. Yay! It's a very good version of the game. Oh, 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 oh. Don't know. It's time up. I'm just shooting to Next not give in. Thunderground. You played to the very end. You made it. Thunderground Sega made this September 83. 0030-01 uh, by Jeff Lawrence, also known as Tank City. So, your objective is to shoot those six things at the top. Uh, yep, don't go straight for those those tanks. They will kill you. They'll shoot you or run into you. So you have to dig out just under those six things. Oh, you found a key. I don't know what that gives you, but uh, you're blue now. Maybe you're invincible for one shot? I wouldn't count it. Shoot it! You can shoot it from afar, though, too. There you go. No, no, no. Don't hang around there. I'm gonna give a check mark to, if I can find that pen. Check mark. Uh, 
check mark to Super Cobra. Even though there's a new one, I'm judging them on how good they are back then. Um, and Popeye. Um, and Quick Step for being, and Mr. Do. Quick Step for being a cool two player game. Oh, I've got some uh, notes from people that left in the Atari Age forums. 2600 says, oh yeah, another great list. Decathlon, break your joystick, trying to beat beat a friend. Super fun though, used to get in trouble for breaking the joysticks, even though it was actually the game's fault. Battle Zone, it's great and very much like Robot Tank in many ways. Most people have a favorite of the two and Robot Tank for me is however, Robot Tank is for me. However, Battle Zone's a good game. Yeah, Robot ah. Tank has more to it. What's happening? You're getting killed. Oh right. my god. It's just the controller. I'm not blaming the controller. I'm saying that, like, I don't have good control of the controller. So when I say to go down, I don't go down. Because uh, I think it's, like, segmented. So you have to be, like, on a segment. Are you trying to do something? There you go. Go shoot him now. He's, he's not facing it. You don't have to. Once you shoot him, he turns purple for a bit, but he dies. Oh, um, just come back in. Uh, pole position. Well, I like racing games, and this was ambitious at the time. Just wish there was more tracks, but Atari 2600, so understandable. Pressure Cooker. Brilliant game, and find myself playing this one for long periods of time, trying to beat my personal best. Dig Dug. I remember getting Dig Dug as a kid and thought it was one of the coolest games ever. It is. Spent countless hours on this jam, and everything about it is great. Graphics, music, gameplay is all there. I'm very looking forward to playing Dig Dug. So you can shoot him, but he can't shoot you. That's fine. On the top... Oh, there, that guy can. Thomas Yench. Didn't play any of these back then, but I sure broke some joysticks with Decathlon on the C64 until I bought myself a Competition Pro 5000. Uh, besides that, I think Frostbite, another Activision classic, full position. I'm a fan of good racing games. Rev S plus anyone. I don't know Rev S plus. Uh, Gravatar. Uh, which shares some quite uh, quite some gameplay with Thrust, yes. Are my favorites on the list. Only very few stinkers this time. Uh, Nathan Strum said, I didn't like Battlezone back in the day because it strayed too far from the arcade game, which is my all-time favorite. But I've come to appreciate it a lot now that part to, thanks to playing it in the high score club. Pole position is and still uh, was and still is a disappointment. At the time, I didn't understand why the cars were big orange blobs. I get it now, but I still don't like it. Oh, you better play this, otherwise you won't have played all of them. Well, some of them I actually didn't play. Oh, shh, 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 shh. But I saw them all. all why yeah. is there only one? One left? Oh, ah! Idiots, you have to kill them one at a time. Get out, disappear. Oh, oh, I see. What you talking about now? Bear armor for you. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh. Running out. Lots of time. There you go. Revs is hard as hell. Realistic C64 racing game. Oh, wow. Never heard of that one. Next one is... Ghost Manor. Now, I actually have this on cartridge on a double ender. Ghost uh -huh. Manor, Spike's Peak. play this on Halloween one year. Ah. So, get the ghost. You want to get the ghost as much as possible. And you get more candlelight points, which you use in the next level. It's actually not a terrible game. Made by Zonox. Zonox? 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 September 1983. Cartridge 6210 by Steve Beck. Is this a case of you do this level until you get enough candles? Uh, n no. I don't think so. What do you do? The 
castle at the top is really nice looking. And the animation on your character is really good, and I like the uh, pastel ghost as well. I don't know if this is timed or you get enough. Okay, shoot those things. Don't get chopped by the hockey, hockey stick. Shoot all the things. Oh, you only have so many shots. Yeah, I recall that the the uh, first level is crazy easy, and then the second level is like brutal. Yeah, it's weird. Great intro screen with the animation. And the castle looks amazing. Goes here, goes here, goes here. Meanwhile, I realized that it was always the same pattern. It was random at first. this level. How do I do this? I forget. I have to like look in these crypts. Oh, I just go to the stairs in this level. Yep. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, now what do I do? Get over to him? Don't get murdered by... Uh, oh my god, he has full Jack control Ripper. of the screen. Huh, so much fa and it's just game over. Yeah, you only have one life. <laughs> it's we... realistic. Realistic video game. It's like, first level's easy. Like, it's not even a... It's not even... You can't die. Second level's pretty hard. Third level is super hard. I can't remember what to do. I thought there was, like, things you could get to help defeat the guy. You look in the crypts for them or something. What it was? Oh, delivery. There's a delivery. This is really cool because people can hide behind things. Uh oh, I got chopped. Now, well, I think we have like seconds left. Let's see, 38. Well, I can maybe make it to the second level. <laughs> oh, the intros. Unskippable. Unskippable dialogue. And unskippable non level. <laughs> Well, they put a lot of work into it. You have to see it a hundred times when you play it. I like be there being different levels and like like vastly. Oh, you know, it's kind of cool. Really different levels, like. Yeah. But I'm not sure that that counts as a level at all. <laughs> you got double chopped. Uh, I did chop chop. What's next? Uh, the next game is actually the other side of the cartridge. Spike's Whoa. Peak. Zonox. Okay, uh, you have to hide in those little alcoves for the, from the eagle and jump over the bear. Oh, he's hiding in his little cave. Oh, hide! No, you can't continue up. Just stay there. I didn't see that there was an eagle. Yeah, he goes fast. So yeah. you have to press down. I think there's an eagle every time you pass one of those, maybe. So, there you go. And button to get out. There you go. Very strange game. What, 
What is that? Uh, river? Death to you. Death yeah, to it's you. very strange. You just have to know when the eagle's coming. I know, it's so fast. It's not like you're near it unless you know the eagle's coming. Right? Like, yeah, you, you are mostly not near one. <laughs> yes, that's the problem. And but, the, but you probably can memorize. It's just that I don't, I haven't yet at this point. Oh, he gives you a little bit of warning. With the noise, I guess. I thought it was, uh, oh, I'm going to jump that thing. Too. Dan says, the rare, has the rare Zonox Ghost Manor Chuck Norris Super Kicks. I have one more Zonox, but I can't remember what they, what it is. No, you go away. How did you know it was coming? Uh, well, I heard it, but I knew it was going to come eventually. So I think I'm just going to chill out by this thing for a bit. I'm scared. There's no time on it. Oh my god, there's a bear limit. There's a bear limit. And it's full. Ah, no! <laughs> it's still taunting me in death. It's taunting oh. you, it's just eating you. I'm not a good snack. Funny. Ah! You don't understand how you're supposed to play this yet, so I can't really say whether or not it's any good. Yeah. I don't know that either. Ah! It gives a tiny bit of warning, but definitely not enough if you're in between. Uh -huh. God damn it! <laughs> oh, and there's something under the score that goes down. Oh. So that it's some sort of timer. Oh, it's going back up. Oh, that's the hiding timer, it looks like. Oh. Because it was going down. I don't want to hide too early. Uh, nowhere near. See? Uh, nowhere near. No chance whatsoever. Strange. Like an eagle could come down, I'm dead. And now I'm not dead. So I should maybe wait here? Till the next eagle comes? I think there's, I think there's information we just don't know. Like, for instance, yeah. it comes out when the bear hides. But... You just have to know when the bear's gonna hide. Like. I'm just gonna wait. Like. No! No! No, no! <laughs> you uh, got 4,000 points. You know how? Uh. You went past four eagle fingers. Oh. I think. Or four Let's of the see. things somehow. Is it might be that bears? concrete one. No, it's when you reach the corner, and each corner has an eagle hider thing or oh, a bobber. Okay. okay, and it seems like so far, when two of those concrete things have bears in them, and you can tell because they have two white dots if there's a bear in it. Yeah. That's then, when he comes. then he comes when there's two hiding bears. But, so far, the, your the, but knowing, but knowing that there's two bears, basically, yeah. F you bear. There are other basically, to this. <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm getting any information with that though. <laughs> Next one's frostbite, which has some of the best controls of any 2600 game. Which does this? Frostbite. Ah. It's so good. The Zonox cover um, cartridge. So, have you played this? Looks no. like you have. Um, you jump on the white mm -hmm. um, until your igloo is built, and then you go on the igloo. Avoid the bird. Avoid everything except for the fish. There you go. You can reverse the flow of the uh, the ice by pressing the button, but usually you don't need to use that very often. This was like the last hurrah for 2600. Good old Activision, you can always count on them. Pretty much. Not built yet. It has a door when it's fully built. Um, Activision, October 1983. We're into oh, October now. now. Uh, made by Steve Cartwright, AX031. Yep, yeah, you can go in it now. 
jump in that igloo. Um, there's still some good games for 2600 uh, after 83, I believe, but we'll see. We'll find out. So you can get the fish if you want. There are points. Also known as Iceman and Eskimo Jump in various territories and pirate cartridges. The door means you can go in? Yep, that means it's built. Uh oh, I think there's a crab coming to get me too. Oh, you got one more. I think. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this no. your thing? Not couch compliant. You know, uh, Corey? I know uh, several Corys. <laughs> um, Corey from the island? Mm hmm. Uh, Corey he's, now from the island, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's uh, really good at this. I could probably get close to the world record. Yeah, that'll be sick. Like really, 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 really good. Know? He's actually up on highscores.com uh, for like third place? Something like that? Like, really high up. That's when, um... Oh my god, that, I didn't mean to jump there! Oh! It's back in Being the, viciously uh, murdered. Right, if you little sprite, you're not allowed to do that, I get in trouble. Yep. No hand playing, it's not a toy. No. Uh, Ghost Manor, Chuck Norris. Very rare, a seven? Oh, that's pretty good. That only goes up to ten. You didn't want that fish? Uh, well, sometimes you're in an awkward spot. Oh my god, cat attacks. Uh-oh. Oh, door is open. I, think if I remember correctly, like, Cory got like 300,000 or something. Like, absurd amount, and everything's just like going whoosh. Like, the ice flows are out of control. Oh, the anger. The cat anger. He's like, I'm too hot to move, but I'm still very angry. Oh, now he moved. Oh, there's the bear. Look out for the bear and the clams. Yep. No clams, no bears. Haven't reached Solaris yet. Oh, there's lots of good games to come. Lots. push you off. You got, and you uh, can't escape from them. You got on the wrong side of those infamous Atari birds. Oh, yeah. They're, uh... Why was the door flashing? Is it because you went far enough to start a fire? <laughs> I think it's nighttime. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't flash in the beginning, like the early stages, but it does flash now? Not sure. go and the next game is that's a really good game uh pressure oh. cooker oh you don't get eaten by the bear he just chases you away also oh, by activision yeah well you lose a life come on after black <laughs> do your thing if i remember correctly this is also gave me trouble there we go excellent music in this game excellent graphics hard as hell so you need to make uh, one with a uh, onion. Uh, yeah, there's one with the tomato. Push that on, get the bun, put that on the top, pick it up, put it down, move down, and then put it on blue. Uh, nope. No, it would be green over here, right? Uh, nope, the line is blue for the tomato one. So the onion, yeah. And then the burger top. Then go down. And put it on the blue again, but right in the middle. Press down. Was that pressing down or pressing the button? Uh, there. there. 
there. Press the button now? Yep. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> so you have to make an um, onion. Uh, <laughs> what is that happening? <laughs> You're either pushing them back. Oh, that's pretty good to scroll off. Okay, that one is flashing blue, so put in the blue. By pressing the button, you're rejecting the item, but you need to make a tomato one, so that's good. So a red tomato one. There, perfect. You no. don't need that, so you're gonna have to make a throwaway one. You do need that one. So make that. Go down, and it's red, just put in the red one. As long as the burger is within the width of that. Uh, yeah, you need to make a cheese one. Red. Red. Mad maddening game, but well made. That's how I describe it too. It is hard as hell. This was probably the hardest game to get my patch for so far. This took a lot of tries and I barely did it. And I got uh, Tanya's help at the beginning at least. I think you have to bounce them back or you lose time. You bounce them back by pressing the button. So green for that. I finished Yay. with something! Yay! Um, this one's by Gary Kitchen, AZ032, October, by Activision. So you can see what ingredients you need. Some burgers need more than one ingredient. So that's lettuce. Come on, let me put it on. I don't need that. Yeah, green. So it must be worth more. Um, it'll only give you a, a burger top. When you've satisfied a... Yeah, when you've made a full one. There's so this cheese. one I need a cheese, and I don't need a tomato. And I You do. already got one of those. Oh, God. Oh, you, you can double do cheese. double cheese and it's fine. Oh, oh you can't. Go back up. Because it doesn't need... I have to... erect it. I don't need that. Uh, plain burger? Yep. It's green. Oh, I see. Yeah. So they can be plain burgers. Oh, I do need that. And I need a lettuce. Yeah. Now you, that's a... It's a fancy burger. Onion and cheese. Onion and cheese. That, that does not sound good. <laughs> don't need that. I do need that. Tomato. Yep, just tomato one. Oh, uh, what the hell happened? Oh, you did no. it wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> Excuse me. Did I put in the wrong one? Is that what I did? Lettuce and cheese. It's being very nice right now in the higher levels. It's not nice. It gives you things Makes you don't need. Makes you bounce need. more back. Yeah. Bounce more back, gives them in the wrong order. You want a cheese now. Like bouncing the back doesn't hurt you at all. Mm -hmm. Does it help you? Uh, well, it gets the next thing out. And I need a cheese for that. I don't need you at all. Tomato? Yeah, I just need a tomato. That's done. There you go. It's not very persistent. That's why we miss it sometimes. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Uh, next one's Dig Dug. Yes! This one is going to get a check mark because I already know. It's awesome. Graphics are awesome. The gameplay is awesome. The sound is awesome. October 1983 by Atari. Uh, CX2677. Uh, Ava, Robin, Cohen, and Douglas B. McRae made this. We got a check mark. I will play this game anytime. 2600 Arcade, both amazing. rocks you can drop on them too and you drop two rocks and you get the, the vegetable that gives you a ton of points because you definitely want to do that and the last guy runs away off the screen yeah 
Never got into Dig Dug, really. I've just recently really gotten into it. Um, like past couple of years. I, I used to like it, but now I really, really like it. <laughs> You're about to see why Mr. Do's digging disappointed me. Right. This is much more uh, granular digging. I can see. Yeah. So you can dig anywhere. So Mr. Do is like, you have to follow perfect paths. Oh my god, I don't know how you survived that, but you did. You're just away from the from the fire. One pixel. So you always want to get the uh, dragons from beneath or above, so they can't do that to you. And you can also <laughs> delay somebody by pumping them up and letting them sit there. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> done. D-O-N-E. <laughs> going to drop something on you. Oh, maybe I can still count. It's worth more if you uh, drop it? Uh, yes. Worth more, and you're one step closer to the veggie. Which I'm going to get soon. Uh. Oh, I got him, too. There's the veggie, which is worth, like, a thousand. It goes up quite a bit. Oh, that was a mistake, but I'll get the veggie. Oh, maybe I can still get him. Uh. Yep, he delayed himself. It's your own fault. Breathing fire in an inopportune time. <laughs> oh, sure. You die. You can spam the button for faster. Oh, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. No, no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, mistakes were made. Even if I drop it on nothing, it's fine, because... It gets dangerous when there's multiple, because mm -hmm. you kind of have to pump one up and then let the other one go forward a bit, mm -hmm. and then pump the other one up. Oh god, I don't open. Oh uh, yeah, okay. We're fine, we're fine. We're fine, we're all fine here. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, I'll get this. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Yep. G-O-N-E. Oh. -E. Gameplay is so good in this. Oh, extra. Oh, can I line Sometimes up a bunch? Sometimes he's got like the super mega um, breath, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, I just missed. Just do it from the bottom. And he can't do that to you. Oh, pepper. Graphics are so good in this. The colors are so good. The sound is awesome. The gameplay is perfect to the arcade. Like the pumping. What what version was that playing on? The 8-bit version where the pumping was like really weird? Like you couldn't like you couldn't do fast pumping by moving towards them and pumping at the same time. It'll mm. like double your speed. But in one version I played recently, it was like, nope, can't do that. It's like, what the hell? It's terrible. There you go. So good. Next one is Gravatar. Which, good luck to us. Thrust will soundly make fun of us for how bad we are at gravity-based games. <laughs> not bad for Atari 2600. Still not convinced, Thrust says. Uh, Gravatar by Atari, uh, CX 2685 by Dan Hitchens and Mimi Naiden. So you go land on one of those planets, and then you navigate the planet. Oh, get to the planet. Oh, death instantly. But I couldn't escape that either. So the planet is the gravity, so you're always going towards the planet. And you want to pick up that purple thing with your button. And preferably shoot the things if they're causing you trouble. You got it? Maybe? Uh, yeah. I got shot it, too. Oh, that's something you don't... That's the sun. Yeah, that's a bad thing. 
the uh the big bunch of friends. No! I didn't figure that out either. There we go. I was disappointed oh. by it pulling me in that direction. I guess the sun is really powerful. That's what's pulling. I guess. I mean, the sun's powerful, but... Oh, I got... Oh, the another one for me. I guess anything blue draws you. Yeah. It's not the center of the blue. It's just the blue. It's all the blue. That makes it very... No! Yeah, I'm not sure where the center of gravity is. Cause it's... No, no, he shoots this way. Ah, ah, ah. How am I supposed to get that one? Hard. No! Too much gravity! Nope. I'm gonna shoot you. Trying. Trying. Yeah, it was more like or. <laughs> or. Or die. Definitely die trying. Oh. Oh, God. so close. Almost getting it. Let's go to a different planet. <laughs> That's such a good idea. That one is, this that is, this does seem like easy. level, you know, one and compared to like the level 12 it does. planet you were just on. It does. I think this just has like a normal, what you'd expect from gravity. It's just straight down. I don't know. It depends. If yeah, it's, it's if down. it's you are drawn, yeah, right now you are, but if it's you are drawn to planet parts, then when you get down into this, it, see how it pulls you to the side. Yeah. Oof. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh. Oh. Shot right through your pixel. My pixels are dead. My pixels are hurting. Trust says this is the easiest one. It does seem that way. Yeah. There we go. One more. Now it's just suicide. <laughs> no. 44. I have 44 seconds. Don't tell me to suicide. It. There you go. <laughs> now Good I job can get that. It. Oh my god. This is fair. Things so bad. I see, that's not points, that's how much fuel you have. Oh, I have quite a bit. Yeah, gotta turn that way a bit, yeah. Yep. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. No! Leave me alone! I did you it! You completed a level! And, and planted it exploded, you blew up the planet! <laughs> I planted a bomb, apparently, to blow up the planet. I got my stuff! What do I need this planet for? For it. Alderaan, bye bye. <laughs> okay, uh, Joust is next. Uh oh. And actually, another pretty decent conversion. It could be better, but a lot of good things going on. I think there's a two player? Yes, there is. Oh. Let's do this. It's by Atari. Um, CX2691, Mike Feinstein, and Kevin Osborne. Oh, did I die? Is, it, is there a second player? I want to start over. You just have to be higher than the other person? Yep. To win? Yep, that's it. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it's uh, finally fire. Hooray. You stay down, I'll stay up. Oh, we're we're on the same team? Uh, no. But we can be. <laughs> Get out of here! Don't come up here. Is that you? Yeah. Stay, stay down. Why? I was trying desperately to get up here, and then you tell me if, as I finally succeed that I should. Because you killed go away. me. That's not a problem that normally people have to worry about. <laughs> Boo. Okay, I'll just stay out of your way. That is 
appropriate. That is the appropriate response. <laughs> or I can just kill all your lives off. <laughs> and then you will be a bother to me no more! Hmm? It's got the lava, it's got the pterodactyl, it's got the enemies. Get away from me! Egg wave! Get the eggs. Get all the eggs. The egg gra the egg physics, not so great. They're very drifty. That'd be one problem of this game. But the flapping is very good. Stay away from me. No! Evil! Evil yellow bird! That's what you deserve. There's the pterodactyl. Little oh, pterodactyl! That's right. Can you kill a pterodactyl? Uh, it's very hard. You have to be perfectly of your spear in the center of its mouth. It's not a, it's not a goal to kill the pterodactyl, but you can do it. You. I eat your egg. There we go. Yeah, the egg's just kind of. Oh, come on, I hit that. Damn you, 30 hertz. Come on. Come on. Nice open play field. There is no hand pulling you down to the fire, unfortunately. That's That would be good. And I don't think that would have been very hard to do. Is there, no, is there a hand in this? I don't think, I don't remember there being a hand. It's just the fire kills you. Nice. And they hatch, me because they drift, they hatch in, in the midair. Uh, usually they have to land and then the player walks over to them. Uh, they're in easy mode. No, there's no hand. Uh, hey, what do the uh, eggs do when they hatch? They become bad guys or your yes. friends? Uh, no, bad, bad, bad guys. They become very bad guys. And if they hatch twice, they become super bad guys that are faster. The eggs can fly. Yeah, they do have wings. How ugly is Terry in this version? He's not bad. He's not bad. And there's no color. I mean, for what you get, they have to elongate it to make it... Should I try? No. I am definitely going to die if I try. Um, 29 seconds? Maybe I should try for him. Ready? Come here. Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's game over. Great title screen. Um, great gameplay, like the movement, like feels like Joust. So only the eggs and the hand move it, reaching up from the, the lava, that's kind of bad. Uh, next one is dee -dee -dee -dee, Moon Patrol, which I think is not a bad version either of Moon Patrol. Shoot the thing, shoot the rocks, jump over the pits. Yay, you did it. Moon Patrol. October 1983 by Atari. CX2692 by Mark Ackerman and Noel Alito. Stream crash? Oh my god, it's all red. Well, we're still recording, so... No bits going out whatsoever. So, like, uh... We're still recording, so they'll right, see it on... They you. can't see us? Yeah, they can't see us. Uh, two people us? said, uh, stream crash. 
I'm gonna restart the stream. Because it's like at zero, which is very unusual. But we still have internet. Maybe it was that mirror. Oh, oh, there we go. Moon Patrol on my C64 a lot. It was really, really good on that. Yeah. Um, and this is great. Like, this version? Nothing wrong with this at all. Um, it's got the enemies. It's got the pits. They're the pits, aren't they? It's the pits. And we're back with Moon Patrol. Good. Everybody's back. Good. <sighs> my turn on the Moon Patrol. 100 points. Shoot that rock. And on this one, rather than Super Cobra, you can shoot up and forward at the same time, which that should have been the case in Super Cobra. Rather than that, that weird where you fire forward and then down and then forward and then down, like alternating, not yeah. smart. Because then you have to actually plan your shots. And you can't shoot again forward until you've shot down and your bullet going forward has gone off the screen. Yeah, yeah. Very frustrating. That's not Moon Poo. What? <laughs> Rock. Oh, Moon Poo. Could be. I mean, uh, it's I guess technically it's Moon Poo. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a cast it depends off on of the moon. You, yeah, I mean, it depends on what... Yeah, what, what counts as moon poo? Yeah, we go slow. Not that slow. Too slow. This is this is hard on the 2600, I find. Harder than C64. It's kind of time. Uh, you're either too slow or you're too fast. It's, it's not as granular. It's almost like they intended it to be that way. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's get to it first. There we go. Like, there's two speeds in this one. Is that all there is on... Close. Oh, there's three. There's normal, fast, and slow. I guess. The stars are cool. Uh, in the background, multicolored stars. The, the uh, background blue hills are good. Scrolling playfield hills. The bullets. Oh, I started yes. again. I'll play really quick. <laughs> Speed through it all. What are they saying? Yeah, the music is good. Uh, the graphics are good. The music is good. The gameplay is pretty good. Does this have hills in this version? Or is it just flat? I can't remember if this has hills. Because it's later on, so I'm not going to get there now. But... Oh, we took off. And done! Moon Patrol is very good. Um, I would give that a, a check mark, actually. Next one is not good at all. <laughs> it's... Swordcrest Waterworld! And everybody went meh. Yeah, I think the stream went down because one of the mirrors went down, like a Twitch mirror. Are you actually playing? Yeah. No, I think you're actually playing. I am. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, I was moving the controller. There you go. And it was yeah, moving the monster guy. So get to the right-hand side of the sharks. Oh, go, I see. Go, go, go. Swordcrest Waterworld, October 1983 by Todd Fry, CX 2671. It's part of a contest. You could win swords and crowns and other jewelry worth tens of thousands of dollars. Um, I don't th think the prize for this game was given out. It was cancelled before it was given out. And the fourth game was never made. Um, but actually the fourth game is... Oh, you're so close! 
oh yeah, you've got the sword. So you can pick up those things and they give you certain things and yay, collect the things. Easiest game in the Sword World series. Yeah, so far it does look like it. I wasn't able to pick them up before. You did it, you got a crown and a candle. Maybe you can see in the dark or something. Oh, oh. too many things. I'm gonna have to sacrifice one of them. What's that? I don't know. They had made a nice sound, so it must be good. I don't know. Continue on plan. Show all the other terrible mini games. No, stop picking up things. Exit the room. Oh, it's to put stuff in it. Oh. Hmm. You have to hop on those things like Frogger. Oh, God. What just happened? Did you die? There's a lot of um, failure. But I guess you continued? Uh, because this is not the starting level well, and you have this. I have stuff. all the same stuff? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, gotta get over more. Oh, come on, I did that. Come on. Come on. Quest. It's Sword Quest. <laughs> the magic of Sword Quest. <laughs> the magical we don't know what's happening either of Sword Quest. Uh oh. So close. Oh, Frozen, you almost made it. I love how it dings every time you move. Annoying at all. Right in time, so close. Dun, 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 dun. No, I have to get it over there. It's over here, and this. the top. There's not even the time limit on the screen, so you can like... Uh, that's not where I was supposed to be. What if you're near the top and the time ran out? Infuriating. It's already infuriating enough. What am I supposed to do there? Am I supposed to get to the middle? Yeah, I guess you have to get on to that top one at the far side. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a bad game. <laughs> the the minigame itself is not bad. It needs to be a little easier. But, um... See me cross it. Because I'll never Russ play this like again. Best, Russ says. This one. This one. <laughs> <laughs> They're all terrible. Really, really terrible. Next one's Time Pilot. Which hopefully it's a good version. I've not played the 2600 version too much. Hey, hey, Time Pilot. Time Pilot. Sword oh. Quest Waterworld by Kevin Costner. Oh, get out of there. Oh, calm down. <laughs> Give me a get out of there. Okay, I'm gonna win now. I just need for you to start the game. Oh. Time pilot, shoot all the things, rescue the parachuters. And then shoot the main boss after you see the I boss. I swear I had more luck with this last time. <laughs> so can't even see him to point at anything to shoot it. I think we played the 8-bit version of this uh, last time. Yeah. Yeah, I certainly did. 
way to kill them. It is apparently one way to kill them. Which is on and off for me too. Oh, I think we're, we're streaming fine now. Since we reconnected, we haven't dropped one frame, so... Might want to reconnect. I'm noticing that Twitch has been issues with everyone lately. Like, huh? Not good. We're having some server issues. I haven't seen any parachuters, have you? Was there any parachuters yet? No, I, they only reward you with parachuters when you aren't absolutely disgustingly awful. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the music that says, you are no longer allowed to play this game. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is true. It was the music. Even though you had three planes, oh, those are those planes. Those are the planes to kill. Yes, those were the... That was a... a Further mark of my shame. <laughs> oh, and it recalls your bullets. Oh, okay. Sneaky bastard. Why is the time pilot trying to kill uh, all of the? Um Planes? All of the planes at all the different times. That's a good question. I don't know the lore of Bloodthirsty. Is this a Predator um, crossover? Yes, it is. He's in the uh, he's in the plane. <laughs> I mean, they have ships. They never uh, hunt with their ships, do they? The Predators, they like to... Oh, they're willing to use yeah. anything, I think, because they started by killing with their, like, blaster thing. It was only oh. when he found a worthwhile opponent that he took the thing off and did uh, Predator versus Mono. <laughs> Predator on Mono. Mono. Predator on Mono. Yeah. They, uh, they do like... Wow, that bullet, like, gave you a haircut. It did. I could hear it whistling by me. That was a good, that was a good, uh... Oh, my wing. Just, oh, uh, come on! Cleaned your wing off a bit there. Did I not killed enough? Yeah, no! Sword Quest Waterworld by Kevin Costner. <laughs> I did think, I did think that Waterworld when I saw it, and I thought, uh, That can't be right. <laughs> well, uh, Because <laughs> things happen. That's a good tactic. These guys don't really uh, move much. They like loop around to get you. Yeah, you're faster than them. So you have to kind of slow down. Because you have a more advanced plane than them. That's, that's, what, uh, that's what air combat is like. That's what barrel rolls are all about. You're slowing yourself down. It's, it's like mm. staying behind oh, your target without slowing down. So nice. you move in a... You move... You increase the surface area of your movement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just... It's a level gun. Shoot! Uh-oh. I want to make it to the next level. I know, it's sad. But the oh, time is up. Just a couple more. Just a couple more. They kept killing them, but they don't. It's not presenting me with the boss. Oh, I know, but you still have three more to kill, and you killed two, and that's not enough because each of those is not representative of one. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Um, it's fine. It doesn't have all the things time pilot does. The next one is laser gates. I do have it, but it's all wrapped up, uh, so I'm not going to unwrap it. Laser Gates. Laser Gates is by Imagic. Last one was by Coleco by Harley H. Puff Jr. 2663. So go through the gates. Don't hit the gates. Go through the laser gates. There you go. Um, this one's by Dan Oliver. 720118-1A. Also known as Attack Laser, Inner Space, Laser Volley, Laser Gate, Laser Gates. Oh, it's called Laser Gates. Shoot all the things! Avoid all the things! I believe it was shooting at me 
I want to see the boss too, but Darcy said no. I didn't, the timer said no. The timer said no. There are rules, rules! I'd start over. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, your shields are very low. Oh, I have shields? Yeah. That's why you didn't die immediately. When you got hit. Ah, uh, it's not. Oh, it is Captain Compliant. It just takes a bit. This game is not rare, but it's not cheap either. Uh, when did this come out? What month? Uh. This is Laser Gates, October okay. 1st, 1983, from iMagic. 72011 8-1A. Imagic. Dan what did I say? iMagic. That's like one of those things just there at his iMagic. Uh, Dan Oliver. Antique laser, inner space, laser volley, laser gate, laser gates. Those are all various names, I guess. Ah, oh, failed again. Um. Hi, little black cat. Oh. Uh oh. Can I do it this time? Yes. One more. Ah, oh, I failed again. I haven't been able to get through that once. Hi, little black cat. Hi. Oh, the explosions are great. Is that a kind of a black cat's flute? Oh, I made it. Oh, you made it. I like the explosions. Yeah, colorful and magic explosions. Very, very nice. Scrolling is good. His gates look nice. A little, uh, little samey samey. But, uh, Those things, uh, the shooting is not synced up with the spinning. And it killed me. Because <laughs> you're expecting. Not that I wasn't up. likely to die. Not that my gameplay isn't kind of random to begin with. Get him! Get him! You're winning! You're the little cat and you're on top! Get him! <laughs> you gotta fight on camera. Yeah. We get some cat fights. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to get that? I don't know. I shot it and it disappeared. Oh god. Can you not make it through when it's two? You can, but it's harder. I'd rather, uh, rather shoot. Three. But that's hard too. Yeah, it is. Ah, well, I did better. Your turn again. Reminds me of Scramble. A little bit. It's got some stuff. Uh, yeah, we're up to October. So we've got four more after this. And oh boy, you don't want to miss these next four. Because they're a doozy. They're just cream of the crop kind of stuff. You'll see. Oh. I haven't successfully killed that missile once. Even though he's like straight in front of me. I got him one time. <laughs> <laughs> Just that one time though. Kidding? No! <laughs> no! Oh, it goes right at you. I I hadn't even successfully uh, played around it enough to realize that it was uh, yeah, pixel right. seeking. Yeah, pixel seeking. The graphics are really good, especially on the ship. It's very detailed. Half the screen used up for your stats. It's fine. Oh. Because. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's great. You it's great. I, it. I love the graphics. The okay. graphics are really, really good. I'm attempt to go through it. There, there you go. For you. <laughs> yeah, the graphics are great. Yeah, there you go. That was a significant portion of your this game score. <laughs> By shooting that guy? Yeah. Like almost a sense. quarter. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. 525. You only had 2,000 after you shot it. <laughs> I would think that guy shouldn't be as much because he just goes right for you. And because all you, you have, have to, to stand shoot. still. All you have to do is stand still. Let's rewind 30 seconds. <laughs> I can never shoot this guy! Now I figured it out. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm gonna have to shoot just two because it takes too long to shoot. Yeah, that's what I, was, that's what I thought. Is it's like. It's hard, but. Okay, I'm gonna touch this one. Yep. Energy. Yeah, it did have the look of a camera. Thou wantest this. <laughs> this. Thou must collect the shining cube. There you go. My dark controls are the pixels. Oh yeah, the pixels are at my command. No! I thought you had that one figured out. 
I do. Talkie Talkerson. It's too forward in my uh, position. Let's stay back. No need to be forward. Oh. Okay. Um, good game. Repetitive. Repetitive. Even though there's repetitive. lots of stuff. Get, I think it is getting harder, though. And it's speeding up, I think, a little bit. Next one is... We got to uh, brush up on our Bible skills. It's Red Sea Crossing uh, by Inspirational Video Concepts, October 1983, by Steve Schustak. I'm just going to walk across because you can jump too. You probably won't. Why would I have to? Because they pop their heads up. Oh! oh. Uh, oh three, God. two, one, four, three, zero. Oh, God is on my side. Uh, is he though? He doesn't seem to be. Those whales are chewing your leg pretty good. Are those whales? Well, um, they, I think so. Coming out of the water? Because you're, you're crossing the Red Sea once it's parted. Ah, I see. Because there's fish on that side, fish on that side. Mm -hmm. The whales are all... Um, Spears coming from the uh, Egyptians, from, I guess. Yep. Yeah. I think the whales have... Uh, Up to heaven. Oh, that's Steve Stack right on the screen. Oh, it's filling it back in. That's kind of cool, actually. Yep. Those whales look like they should be happy again. <laughs> yes, they got all their water back. Watch out for the seaweed. Oh, yeah. it'll, uh, it'll make you very sad. Sad seaweed. Like, Don't jump into the... How is that an obstacle? No, no, it's not yet, but it will be later. <laughs> Probably. I'll have to jump a thing, but those things will be there. The whales look really hungry, man. <laughs> uh, the last one was a magic, yes. This one is... Inspirational video concept. I mean, it's... It's like Bobby Goes Home, except terrible. Oh, come on. Much worse than Bobby Goes Home. Bobby Goes Home is okay. It's interesting. The, um, Did I get hit again? Yep. The water on the top and bottom is sometimes red water. Oh. It's full of blood. All the dead creatures. On the top and the bottom. It was on at least one level anyways. Ah! Who knows? Now there's two arrows that I have to really mess up to die. Crabs. This is the most... pac many clams. <laughs> yep. The most foest foe that I've foed so far. <laughs> there we go. All the other foes have not been... As foey. As foey as that foe. Oh! It's a oh. bird! Look out! It's a bird! It's actually a pretty it's a good murder bird. bird. Murder dove. <laughs> Stay away from me. Whoa! Oh, I jumped in the dike. What? Did you let a snake get you? Oh, my leg. Oh, my God. Whoa, he pauses, too. Jump. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Now he's at ground level. Yeah. Oh, boy. That arrow just goes forever. Don't pause, crab. Do not pause. They have claws. Ah. 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 So good. <laughs> So if you just walk straight, you're fine from that crab. Just keep on walking. Uh-oh! A slow arrow is coming to get me. Hey, sparkle. Yeah, oh, sparkles Some sort are coming. Sort of sparkle is coming to get you. It's going to touch your butt without your permission. Don't go there. Don't touch my butt. Don't pinch it. Oh, oh I think I have to get that. This is the Ten Commandments. Yep. I don't know what they're doing in the Red Sea, but... Yeah, they thought they were on a mountain, not at the bottom of the ocean, or the sea. Yeah, I think they had to get across the sea, and then there was some tablets to be found. Yeah, I mean, somebody could have put them there. Maybe he's gonna fake putting it. Maybe these them are the blank the tablets, and then you have to bring them across, and Ooh. then Ooh. Oh you my can God. get them filled with commandments. True. That's the first one that was actually. Oh, uh, the bag says the bees, so that's what the sparkler gets is bees, maybe. Oh, your turn for thirty seconds. Uh oh. Uh, it's not a good game. Foes are terrible for the most part. Chomp. <laughs> Funny 
sounds when he jumps. Not bad. Good good music. It's got it's two tonal. The scale is it's not my favorite kind scale. Of scale. Like when you have the giant like character, I'd uh, Oh yeah, it would have been better I'm smaller. Not a fan of that. Uh next one is everyone's <laughs> favorite. It's Firefly. Ranked one of the worst 2600 games by Mythicon. What's it called? Firefly. Not the TV series. MA1002 by Bill Briner and Bruce DeGraff. Shoot the things. That's all you do. Shoot the things. Oh, it died. Darcy doesn't shoot things. Yeah, you really shot cool. the thing. Go to the next stage. Shoot the things! Get the thing! Oh. It, it, I mean, the graphics are not terrible. The gameplay is terrible. I think the graphics are actually genuinely good. Yeah, yeah. They're pretty good. Not, like, epic, but no. good. Like, look at the colors. Like, those are flowers. Like, your yeah. little butterfly guy is all different colors. Oh, Look at the good, different actually. colors of the... All the bad guys have good colors. I mean, yeah. maybe it's just my... I like them. Well, I think you want that because you can't shoot it. Oh, avoid it. Never mind. <laughs> Never listen to James when it comes yeah, to Berkeley things. Because we've played a bunch of games where it's just monochrome enemies and a player. And this has colors. Ratings decreasing rapidly. <laughs> yes. Adult Swim released a game called Go Right. That's all you had to do at a tediously slow pace. This isn't very far from that. I'm guessing the other game you're referring to. Yep. There is a homebrew on the system where you don't... Here, I don't want you to miss out. On the three more minutes of playing this? <laughs> Charles they're like, yay, no score or purpose to it. Oh yeah, there is no score. Like, there's, I got was collecting stuff and that's cool. Maybe they just like, what they that? just, they, they were very visual focused and they did not have, they didn't want any of that like, um, uncomfortable competition crap getting in the way. That's what true. is the smiley face up there about? We're all happy. That's what it is. It's we're smiley all sign. happy. Oh, I died. Aww. And got him. I like that you can kill it and die. Yes, I like yeah. games like that. Where your shot doesn't disappear because you because you died. Yeah. This kind of looks unfinished. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, it's like we forgot to add the score. Oh, like well. they polished the look, I think. What is that? Like, what is that a guy eating a sandwich? With a... Or a, a beehive, maybe? That's a crown. Yeah. The flowers, like you can't kill that guy, you just have to well, you just run away. Which but he's not hard to run away from. Yeah, it's like super easy. No score, no lives. <laughs> That's um, true. Like what the flowers are just. Was it a demo? <laughs> it's a real game on a real cartridge. Yeah, it's just bad. This is the reason for the crash. This game, yep. This game. This hundred percent blame this game. One hundred percent blame. We have decided. It's too many people bought Firefly and went, this is what games are like? This is garbage. I want a refund. Well, it could... The, actually, it could be because, like I said, the graphics are actually... I like them. They're pretty. No, they are. Like, they're attractive graphics. The and so part. can you imagine if you were like, oh, this game looks pretty. I'll buy it. This <laughs> yep. is not a game. I like how the sun says, hey, grab your joystick. I like how the sun says... <laughs> That's what it looks like. That's how it is. I don't know. Big, it looks like it looks like a, a select finger being a big shown to you. thumbs up. I mean, finger up for this game. How many monies did you give us? This is All me. your monies. Thank, Thank you, you for, for your monies. We got your monies, and you're never getting them back. Now, Firefly is your favorite game. <laughs> a ring. It's tedium. I know. Terrible. The music is ran the music is bad. It's just random. The tone isn't bad. It's, it's not super bad tone, but the the randomness is offensive. Okay. It's not random. No? There's a tune to this. Somebody planned this music out. I guess it's doing it goes up the If it was random, you your ears would be bleeding. <laughs> More than they are. 
A wise thief. Sun. White. Six. Set the moon. Five. I guess it's the moon. Three. Two. One. Bing! Yay! I never have to play this again. Here we go. I wish the I lost the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're back. Uh, the next one is Sorcerer from the same company. Uh oh. Mythicon, the magic of Mythicon. They got their money and got out of there. Bill Briner and Bruce DeGraff. You're on a magic carpet. Go get your magic carpet. Go get it. Now keep going to the right. There's that stupid sun again. Shoot the things. Get the things. Oh my god, it's the same game. Same game. And I have to say that they did the same thing of like making like it, like this is that was that was not. Uh, but this is actual sun. They used color. That's what they did. <laughs> like they like whoever was doing it was like into into getting the colors right like that yeah that, cup, that was great. cup was amazing yeah you know like the colors are really good in this it had shaded you could tell it was a gold cup like i think they deserve credit for <laughs> half-assing it they half-assed it like half of their ass was like <laughs> ooh, like a really like right nice on. nice ass and the other half just didn't exist mm -hmm. we're missing a full buttock <laughs> the whole buttock was a missing whole half buttock was missing i mean floating on a carpet it's a magic carpet, sure. It's better than a firefly, I guess. Oh, thank you. And you can you can walk on the You have to make up your own points. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you die, take a drink. Every time you kill a thing, take a drink. Um, you can walk on the ground. You don't need to use a magic carpet, so you can't shoot them. You can never come down this low. Ah, uh, but can you? Can Do you have the magic carpet still? Yep. Okay. That's as uh, high as I can go. Can Sometimes. you get to the other side oh. without killing them? Oh, let's see. Uh, uh, let's try that on another uh, level. They're coming. They're coming for me. I had to do it. Oh, you can just not. You can opt to just go through life. Oh my god. Oh my god. I you died can... through a level. That's interesting. I don't hate that. No. So, I find it interesting. I don't think it's good. You shouldn't. You shouldn't move it, but it it makes it's interesting. I'm doing a pacifist run of whatever this game is called. Firefly uh, Part Two. You're you're doing a anti-cap, anti. -cap, anti uh, uh, what is what do you call it? Not capitalism. Consumerism, anti-consumerism uh, run. Oh, because I'm not picking up the rewards. Yeah, not killing stuff. Oh. Harder. Trust wants to check if the game counts the points and just does not display them. You should check the code. If, if yeah, that's what I thought that the sun was giving the finger, but James uh, thinks that it's a, a game the controller. It's a joystick. It could be either. I'm sure that it's, you know... I think I'm sure they would say that it was pick up the joystick. I think you're supposed to not kill them. It's actually harder to play this game by not killing them. I think you're wrong that that the goal is to supposed to not kill them though. There's no score though, so you're not gaining anything. I'm saying it's not you're not supposed to not shoot them, I think. Yeah. In the manual I bet it says shoot them. You can steer your dead body down the screen. Watch this. Oh I can yeah. actually delay my body from falling too. That's funny. The goal is whatever you make it. It's an open-ended game. Oh, they changed who they were. Oh, I think I made one to the next screen. Yeah. Can I go this way? No! Let me out the of this game! The goal is to make that smiley face frown. Let me out of this game! No, 45 seconds left. What else can you do in this game? Can I not Don't pick up that? Don't take the thing. Oh. See, what, I, else, what else can you not do in this game? Playing, <laughs> yeah. Playing is its own reward. I don't need the treasure. That's right. Or the points. Or the... Oh, Give me the flying carpet. <laughs> ah! I can, you can shoot after you're dead! I'm genuinely, like, baffled. Like, Get on the like carpet. what was the situation whereby this company made these games that look pretty, but don't do anything? 
Like, you're, the, the thing is, you are, this is the thing that's crazy. You are doing stuff. You are, yeah. It wouldn't take much to, like, count it and to have there it? be a, a purpose. Like, like, they wouldn't take a whole lot of ingenuity to, like, make the, um... Trust says it counts points. So, it just never displayed it. They just released it without finishing the game. So it is unfinished. And the third and final game for Mythicon and today, Star Fox. Not the one you're thinking of. By Mythicon, MA1003. There's that goddamn smiley face again. This one you shoot lasers. And there's a city scrolling, which is, I think, you know, it's better. Is that like a water pump? It's like a bad, bad, bad defender. A bad defender. Well, what makes it bad? The lack of game. The lack of. But I like the game. motion. Motion. Oh, is what's that? Quite cool. Oh, oh, okay. You can turn into things on the ground, like that other game. But what's on the ground? Go in the ground again. Can you speed along. Oh, the you ground? can land. Oh, you're supposed to pick up those dots for no points. For all the. Oh, it's moving. Oh, but you can only land straight down. Yeah, which makes uh, uh, sense. Yeah. This is the best of their uh, trilogy. <laughs> yes, because it's like challenging. Although, and... uh, slightly ironically, it has the worst. Um, so this company didn't believe in counting scores or lives. Colors. At least they're consistent. No, they count them. They don't believe in displaying scores or lives. Uh, Thrust knows what he's doing. Ah! Did you check it in uh, Stella, or did you, like, go through the code? Because Stella would be easier, because you just look at um, some of the very, like, um, mm. memory points and see if it goes up every time. But he knows code. Basically. Whoa, that was accidental. Okay, so I have to land. Oh my god, I'm vulnerable. Yeah, I don't know how I got it the first time. Like, the first time I just was like, I'm going to get this thing. And then I went down, and then I had it. Oh, it's so And then hard. every time after, I'm like, how do I get the thing? It's really hard, because it moves. I swear I was able to move. Oh, you know what? Once you're on the ground, you might be able to move. Nope. No? no. I swear I was able to move Stop. that first time. It is not a... Um... Yay, I got the zero points. Another problem with this game is when you move to the right, you are slammed up against the screen. Yeah, you yeah. cannot see what's coming, so you could instantly die. Or you can skate along the surface. I think that's what I did. Where's the enemy? Because I knew I was able to move. No, they're back the other way. It's an endless there we world. Go. It's a, it's a, what do you call it? A sandbox world. That's right. Get it, get it, get it. Ah. Uh... I think I, I think get I'm it? winning so I far. Got it. I got it. Oh, now we're tied. <laughs> you got two of them. Yeah. Uh, oh, did you get two? Uh, I have no. I don't know if it's in the same game or not because I don't know if it restarts or not because there's no lives or score. You just kind of yeah. start over or you just play the game again. Why does it sink down with you? I think there you this go. is the best. Yeah. I don't know. How do you judge crap against crap? I think this is the best visually. Because look at those things scrolling at the top. No, they were... Well, sure, I think they were all... I think visually they were fine. They are all fine. Yeah. Actually, this, this is one, the least visually, because everything's more Yeah, it's, it's definitely... But the thing is, what they have here is good, though. Like, that ship looks good. And yeah. when it lands, it looks like a lander. Yep. And even the, the not very colorful bad guys chasing you, there's something about them that's good. Yep, yep. Especially the little circle thing, right? Yep. It's just the lack of game. The thing that gets this point is that it wasn't just a reskin of the first two. <laughs> Another reskin. <laughs> like, we need more games. Uh, just change the name of this one and some of the graphics. It's like, okay, boss. Done. <laughs> Where are the enemies? This way? They weren't there Mythicon before. retailed the Ground Trooper says Mythicon retailed these for $9.99. You get what you paid for. Oh. 
No wonder everybody thought games were bad. Let's get this I wonder cheap if, one. But I was going to say, I wonder if they just had the games and they were like, oh, uh, we got to get these out. And they didn't finish them. However, why would they have three games they didn't finish? <laughs> yes. That is the question. Oh. Oh, no. We're done. Don't grab my joystick. Uh, no, no, they, they should have paid, paid the customer. To, to, to play test them and tell they them should have just finished them. They really should have. And we are done for part five of 1983. Uh, it ended with a thud. But there's some really good it games on here. Fizzle, yeah. My favorites today: Not a Bang, Mr. Do, Quick Step, Popeye, Super Cobra, Dig Dug, and Moon Patrol. Any that uh, stood out to you that you enjoyed in particular, or hated with the uh, uh, Decathlon? You like that one? Yep. Yep. It's got a lot of games on it. I actually thought. No, not Burger Time. The the one where you make Aye, burgers. Chunkies. No. Oh, the pressure one where cooker. You, yeah, that one. Yep, that's a very very colorful game. It so. didn't look it didn't look like there was anything wrong with it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you get the game and they have some weird sprites or what have you. It seemed to yeah. have everything going. Very it wasn't like polished. the graphics weren't amazing, but there was no like there's pros and there's cons, and it had pros and it didn't really have cons. Yeah, I, I guess. Very very polished. I actually cooker. thought Crawl was. I did terrible on it, but I liked where it was going. Yeah, it's got some very innovative ideas, Crawl. Especially the spider webs going out. That was very good. Uh, Gravatar. Gravatar is really good. I find it hard. I know Thrust loves. Oh, Gravatar, Thrust. like. Uh, Beautiful. W was pretty amazing. And like, multi worlds that oh, you could go the, inside. It was, like, it was actually, like, number one. Yeah. It was the best one out there, even though, like, I. Had, it's hard as hell. It's really hard, but it's just a skill thing. Like you just have to. If you got better at it, oh my god. Yeah, no, no. no. Oh, uh, Gravatar sorry. is definitely the best one out there. Like planets and your your map that you're choos going to the planets on. There's and the sun. All, no, it's great. And they're yeah. all different. The planets. Yeah, that is amazing. That was really good. We're both terrible at it. Yeah. But the gameplay, the the look, shame the I felt made me forget about it. But like <laughs> this. But it, yeah, no, it was it was definitely the best one. I mean, Thrust names himself after Thrust-based games, so he obviously uh, loves, and has made yeah. unbelievable Thrust-based games for the 2600. Um, I would say this is a very good batch of games. Like, yeah. overwhelmingly good. There's oh, yeah, like, yeah. No, the last time it was, like, bad game after bad game. Yeah. And this one, it was mostly good. Yeah, yeah, except for... Um, even, even most of the games where I might not have thought it was the greatest thing like I didn't like it that much. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't need to like a game to see that you know there's something there. Yeah of, yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, you could be bad at the game and not like the game, but you know that the game is really well made. Oh, hissing, hissing it's okay, is okay, buddy. Game. Sorry, buddy. One, one game. I said games accidentally. Thrust, thrust plus. Um. So, coming up. Tuesday, we're gonna do the last part. Are any of the oh. sorry? Are any of the like gravity games use the the um, spinner? Paddle? Uh, yes, uh, thrusts does. Oh, okay, because that just sounds like it would that that sounds like it would be the oh, perfect way to do it. It's so much better. Yeah, yeah. And he also uh, programmed it so you could use the um, pedals and the. And oh, I, rem I remember. I remember that now. And like yeah. one button, you know, sucks it up. The other one is thrusting, um, and you spin around using the um, driving controller because that's constant spin. Yeah, yeah. So we played every single Mythicon game. That's great. Yeah, driving controller. Um, so coming up, we're going to be playing the last part of 1983. Raining. We'll see. Yeah, it's raining hard, which is good. It hasn't rained in a while. Uh, on uh, Tuesday, the 23rd, so be there for that. Maybe it's going to be good. Maybe it's going to be terrible. Terrible stinkers. Uh, and then we are away for two weeks. Um, so Darcy's next show is not going to exist. And he'll be back later. It'll uh, be the All Darcy Show. It's All Darcy. All Darcy, all by himself. It's no gonna, one watching. It's going to hijack the stream. <laughs> hijack the stream. Um, I have rescheduled the Atari Lynx special. Oh my god, it's very violent out there. Like violent rain. Like stuff's happening. Uh, 
it's just really heavy rain. I thought it was like um, hail. Hail, but it's not nowhere near cold enough to be hail. Um, That'd be great. I would go outside and weather the the hail, the, the damage of the hail. If yeah. You're feeling. Um, Maybe. So we're gonna have fun with the Atari Lynx as soon as I get everything working on it. I have some more stuff coming to make it work. I don't know if you saw it. The Atari Lynx. Yeah, I saw it? it sitting over there. Yeah. Is that a, like a charger station or, uh, or just a station? It's a station for sitting on and all the wires go uh, around it through here. And this is 3D printed? Yep, 3D oh, okay. printed. Very, very cool. Uh, it uh, has been made with VGA out so I can stream it. Ah. And also a connector so you don't have to use the buttons on here and we can play it on the couch. Sweet. And also USB powered. So fully consoleized. Wow. Oh yeah, you should definitely order Thrust. It is really, really good if you even remotely like Thrust-based games. Um, also, something very exciting, we have uh, tentatively scheduled the exclusive world premiere of Load Runner 2600 for October 4th. It may move from there to October 7th, but you definitely don't want to miss that. Load Runner is unbelievable. I think maybe the cover might be released soon, the box art. Um, some people have seen it, so if you're lucky few that have seen it. Uh, it's not public yet, but uh, it looks awesome. Um, and then we'll be at Portland Retro Gaming Expo uh, middle of October and doing some kind of streaming at least from there. We'll see what we can do. We'll be doing interviews. Mm -hmm. Recorded interviews at worst. Uh, we'll see how fast the internet is there. I think it's like $20 a day to get internet, to get Wi-Fi there. It's so expensive. $20 a day is not expensive. Oh, you mean... For yeah, but that's still, it's only 20 bucks. Yeah. In the yeah like it would be, that would be really expensive if you had to pay $20 a day every day. Every day, yeah. No, but of your life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it would be. It'd be brutal. But twenty dollars um, is like it's only twenty dollars. Anyways, whatever. Uh, I can still. What use do you that get on your phone though? Oh, you, there's a million you... people there, and it's not fast. It's very slow. There's like thousands and thousands of people. All so you're saying the that same... cellular is slow? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, this can still That's use batteries. That's why they're charging twenty dollars for Wi-Fi. Yes. Because <laughs> when there's ten thousand people in one area and it goes to a crawl, yeah. You know, um, this can still use the screen. It's got an upgraded screen. It uses, it, you can use the buttons, the batteries still work on it, so you can use it as a handheld still, um, which is great. But we go, we're gonna go over that in more detail on the uh, Atari Lynx day. Oh, I forgot to put this up. It's Atari 2600 day. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never. Um, and there's still some cool things coming up. Uh, exclusive world premiere of Jalaga and of Elevator Agent and a secret homebrew from Champ Games. Uno Plus Card Special. Is that his name? Secret Homebrew. That's his name. That's the game name. <laughs> it's secret homebrew. You have to search for the homebrews. It's a witch game. <laughs> you have to mix up potions. You have to find all the elements of the yep. potion. Yep. Don't get the wrong ones. You make the wrong spell and turn yourself into a frog. Mm -hmm. There's a free idea for anyone who wants yep. to make a game. As if there's not enough of them. And a name. Yeah, Secret Homebrew. Mm -hmm. um, Uno Plus Card Special, we'll do that after I get back from vacation. I, I haven't had time to plan that. Uh, live interview with Old Style. Uh, we'll be playing Mario Brothers, exclusive final version. It's awesome, and some other games from him. Developer Spotlight on Todd Fermansky and Chris Walton also coming up. Lots. And when the ABBC UC games get released to the public, or maybe even just before, we're going to go through all the ABB UC 2022 contest entries for the Atari 8 bit game, 8 uh, uh, bit system as well. There's some good ones in there. So that's it for today. Find the secret score. New game in Mythicon style. <laughs> what could your score be? <laughs> Who knows? How many lives do you have left? I don't know. <laughs> Secret homebrew. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking you could make a game called Homebrew and it could be like witches or something, and then you could have it skinned as like the non witchcraft edition. Oh. It's, like, <laughs> it's like beer or, or <laughs> moonshine. You, you or could uh, find all the video games. Find all the pieces <laughs> to um, your still. 
to make your still. Yeah. Find the ingredients, make potato, you can make gift different ingredients, or you have to grow them and make it into a, a half farm simulator. Um, and also the cops are after you to shut down your moonshine still. So you have to. Uh, or if you're doing witches, it. you could have you know the inquisitors after you or something like yes, that. Yes, burnt know. at the stake is how you die. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, free free ideas. Come on, people. Yep. Look at this. Just cranking them out. Homebrew, homebrew. Home brew. Yep. That's what you could call it. Don't bite me. <gasps> Vicious. It's 323, it? kittens. You have a half an hour. But he gets bitey an hour before. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We had uh, played a lot of good games. Thanks for tuning in. Thrust, Chow Sedoni Mao, RC7E, Charles Whelan, Dan AVC, Ground Trooper, Metal Lunar 7, uh, meaty spag. Uh, a cardboard box. <laughs> um, who else? Who else? Who else was chatting and talking? Um, all the same people. Are we going to get a name in there? Ivory Tower Collections, Colonel Lama, Yorgi's Castle. At the top, some other people tuned in. Uh, we're talking. So thanks for watching. Glad you enjoyed it. So if you saw any games that you did really didn't know before, they're pretty common games, most of these. They're very well-known games. Except for the bad ones. Um, is there any unknown ones that I liked that I never didn't play before? <laughs> no. <laughs> not really. Thrust uh, says he's going to disassemble a mythical <laughs> game now. You're going to put the scores in it and uh, make it better? Make a goal for them? <laughs> don't don't waste your time. Please don't waste your time. No, like... That's like just, I, that's, I don't think they could be of recovered. All the games, no, but all of all the games that are bad, yeah. those games are bad because they didn't do something. There's not. They're bad because of what you don't yeah. do, not because of what's there. I, I don't, think. I, I don't think, think giving them a score or lives would make it a good game. No, 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 not scoring lives. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, that wouldn't be worth it. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I think Thrust, was it you that was looking, I think it was, was looking at one of the games we played last time. It's called Wall Ball. It was like 3D. There's a wall in the distance and you're mm -hmm. like a paddle. And it comes, comes towards you and away from you. Yeah. And, and it was very chunky because it only updated the position of the ball every six frames um and thrust was like oh i'm gonna add in shadows and stuff so you can kind of tell where you were because it was almost impossible to hit it back uh. so it was so chunky and then he gave up on it because it was not worth it <laughs> <laughs> yeah i wonder how much code is the same between three games there's so much code between them actually that they're listed in the comparison list yeah. as the same game and they share fifty percent of the code huh? between them. I think it was forty-nine to fifty between them. Between the two or all three? All three. Huh. Because the movement is the same ish. One scrolls. So but the sun is there. I um, wonder if those two are they're like even more. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think they are a lot more. Um, let me take a look actually. Really quick, because I have it on the right directory. It's not. Here. It's not terrible to like reuse the code, but like. Uh, yeah, it's not like right. reuse the code of a finished game. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Firefly. Is that one word or two words? I think it's two. There we go. Nope. Four. Uh, forty-nine between Sorcerer and Firefly. And thirty-nine between Star Fox and the other ones. Yeah. So 50% on those two and then 40% on the third one. Yeah, you wouldn't think they'd be that similar to the last one because their scrolling play field, it must be like very, very underlying, like basic, basic code yeah. uh, that they reuse. Anyway, terrible, terrible games. Never, I never have to play them again now because I've played them once on a homebrew show. They're not even homebrew. That's not true. If, if somebody uh, modifies them, you will have to play them oh, again. Oh, I don't play hacks very often. No. They'd have to be a really good hack of it. Like, Is it a hack if you... If, if, so, how... If they, if they use... My rule is if they use most of the code, or almost like, like any code reuse, almost. So it's using the code makes it a hack? Yeah. Like okay. a lot of hacks are, they change the graphics, 
What about the 50th? <laughs> uh, we're going to play on the 50th. I already, I think I said it the last time. We're going to play all the prototypes because we're avoiding all the prototypes this time because it's not, they were not released and they're in various stages of terribleness. Uh, okay, but if, is it a hack if you're just finishing it or is that not just a, 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 di a collaboration? It's like, if you're not, if you're not like, if like you're finishing it, you're adding to it. You're not just changing some characters. I would say something. it's the same it. game almost. If you're yeah, it is the it. same game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like version two or whatever. It's kind of a hack, but That's it's also I'm, finishing it. But, but it's not a hack if you're finishing it. That's what I'm no. saying. And, there and have so been people what I'm saying is if it. somebody adds to it and finishes it, yep. then you will have to play it. Because <laughs> it's considered a, almost a prototype because it was never finished. <laughs> I'm saying I'm saying if you don't, you're a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> the shame. The also, shame. What, mostly what I'm saying is that you will. You, according to your code of ethics, yeah. will. You will change your code of ethics. You'll <laughs> like, oh, somebody finished this game. I have to play it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying I will make you do it. I'm saying that you will make you do it. Yeah. And I'm, if they change it to the point that it's good, you won't even be making yourself do it. You'll be like, oh. Tanya. What? Tanya. Yeah. Can you attend to the black cat, please, immediately? What is it doing? What? Attend to the black cat immediately. What's wrong with it? He's, he's having troubles. It's not, he's not sick, but he needs attention immediately. <laughs> now I'm curious. He's scooting. Oh. He was just in the bathroom. <laughs> he needs attention immediately. <laughs> Thank, thankfully, uh, Tanya's home today. Poor can't home. Um, yeah, like I played all the trackball hacks, and they don't change the gameplay, but they make them better. Mm -hmm. So that's similar to... That's literally what I'm describing. I'm yes, not saying someone should way. take that game and make it worse or parallel or sideways. Hi. What, what's wrong with the black cat? He's scooting. Okay. <laughs> He's in the cage. He ran into his own cage. Oh, good. That's he, a sign. He's self. He's, he's self taking self care. Wrong. He's doing some stuff. Ah, I'm in trouble. It's also very stinky. Um. Uh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Phew, that stinks. Um. James says, successfully stretched the show Wait. just long enough to not have to deal with the scoot issue. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> not, I didn't, I didn't extend it because of that. It was just a good mm -hmm. coincidence. Yeah, no, we all believe you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're out of here. We'll be back on uh, Tuesday. So everybody have a good weekend, and we'll finish up 1983 on Tuesday and be done with it. And once we're out of 1983, there's only uh, 100 games left or so is we're just going to zoom right through it. And uh, I'll be back in a month. Yes, yep. not in two weeks, because we won't be here, so... The cats will be here. Depends on whether he leaves the window unlocked or not. That's right. Or even open a crack. You can pry it open. Crack. So, thanks everybody for tuning in, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!